putting her ugly ass up there in front of my motherfucking car, touching my shit. He outside. Yeah, he outside. He's outside. The lift. No, I just it's a, it's it's a black car. You on your phone right now? The moment they said I had a nigga up here, you see how he changed his tune. The moment he think I got a nigga with me, he changed his tune. The moment, the moment he, the moment he think I got a nigga over here, he changes. Now he texts on my phone. Oh God, bitch, get your ass on. Oh no, that ain't him. I don't got time to be sitting around them hating assholes. Girl, fuck that ugly ass bitch. Oh, T.D. Jake's looking asshole. Girl, I'm not about to sit over there and argue with that bitch. You try to search yourself for my business, and that's what the fuck you got, bitch. Stick around for part two. That nigga mad because he, that, that nigga mad. Hey, Bitch, I start reading that whole bitch. You better grab them headphones. Bitch, I don't got to sit over here. Fuck you in. That bitch mad. And I'm sorry. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. It's all. You already know this going on YouTube. They all threaten you. They all threaten your life. You better press charges on them, bitch. Tommy Taylor, old messy bitch. And she mad because I went to get bucks by my security. And he get mad because cause she said it was a nigga in my hotel. Now his whole attitude changed. I'm not fucking with you, nigga. You weird. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit. He said, you cannot go home now. Yeah, because cause he think I'm cause he think I'm laid up with a nigga. Hello. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let me call him. Hold on, let me hang up. Let me call him. Let me call him real quick. Okay. Y'all over there believing that lying ass nigga. That nigga been sitting on my life forever. Hello, hey, how you doing? You in the front? Are you out there? Hello? Hello, are you here? here. Alright, let me talk. Are you in the front? Alright, let me tell him. This motherfucking nigga down there wandering. Drunk as hell right now. This don't make no sense. Yeah, okay, he sent me. Okay, Doug, he's sitting there looking in the lobby, G. It's a lift out there. Can you go to the lobby and go straight out the door? Yeah, he's out there. He's out there, G. He's out there. Where you at? Okay, can you go to the front of the lobby? Go where the lobby is at, Doug. Go where the lobby is at. That's where the lift is sitting at. Right when you... He in a black car. If you, if you stand in the front of the building, you got to go with a lift. When the lift picks you up at the hotel, you can just be randomly just standing in front of the building. You got to go right back to the lobby. He's out there. He just called. Okay, you can go right back to the lobby. Okay, he's out there. 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 Okay. 
Dub, I, you, you just left out my room. Give me what I asked you to give me. You both to just got in there. Dub, do you see the lift out there, G? Do you see the lift, G? Yes, G, but do you see the lift? All right, go back to the lobby, G. Go back to the lobby. This nigga out there wasted. Yeah. I, I, really, I really commend you on being on this fucking app like this because I cannot believe these motherfuckers is on here taking but this I, 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 told, I told y'all it's fucked up as this nigga is they gonna find a way to, to reverse it out down on me um, I, I cannot I'm believe here. this bro I mean, this is that, some he stood up that line saying he didn't bust my windows everything is on camera he gonna lie and say he didn't do it, but he cussing, he cussing, and saying, "Bitch, I'm coming back tonight. I'm not through." And y'all gonna sit there and believe this man, knowing that this man, knowing this man did all this bullshit to me, knowing that he watches me on social media. This is crazy, and I don't even know who that light skinned woman is. I think that light skinned woman is his baby mama. No shade. Oh, that secret lady. Oh yeah, I, she I, probably I, like I be on Big O. Yeah, that's I, probably how he watching. Now look, when I came, when I came in, y'all to the car wash. When I his wife, that's the wife. She says she don't know him. How how much do we believe that though? Y'all, when I when I came into the car wash, that nigga ass got big. So he's been watching. Wait, I be pulled up with Tommy K. Yeah. So the whole time they they plotted on me. They thought I was wondering why this nigga asked to move to wash his clothes, and he never wanted to leave. The nigga didn't have nowhere to go. He upset, like they said. The nigga had to sleep in his car last night. He mad. He got to sleep in that bitch tonight. No, Tell he can't. Just laid on baby mama. Bro, Gee, the I nigga, want you to dog the walk. The nigga was just laid on baby that mama. Bitch. No, she not. She not his wife. I believe um, uh, God Zeus knows that woman, and he set that up. What? She not what? his wife, but I do think she is from Chicago. So Shut be careful. Hold on. He do talk like hey, y'all. Yes, that's him. That's him. It, that's him. My name is Shabon. My name is Shabon Thomas. That's him. That's him. His name. I call his name is his name is Clarence. We I'm pissed the fuck off. Him. I can't believe these weird fuckers that's out here, him. bro. We call him C-Dub. That's, that's him. He got to... Sir, please take him back. Take him home. He, that's him. That's him. Chris Love, I said that too. I believe she's from Chicago. She sound like it. C-Dub, calm down. C-Dub, I tell you, you got to stop getting drunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, that's his name. His name Clarence. We call him Cedar. I don't know why he's sitting out that line. That big fat bitch Tommy talking about suck her oh pussy. God. She can't even see her fucking pussy. Big fat nasty bitch. He's drunk. He he's harmless. He's he's harmless. He just he's please start taking him on. He don't got nothing. He just. Oh my god. Yes, he does. He says he says drunk. He's drunk. <laughs> Clearly, because see, Doug is he can't hold his own. Hello, you and me too. Um, shady. wait a minute, wait a minute. See, Doug down there getting into it with the lift drive. Oh my god, girl, they're gonna cancel your damn thing with him doing that. I don't give a fuck. I have a sleepover too. I had all my people in that bitch camped out. Hoes pulling up to her house. Niggas pulling up to her house. I had a whole crew in that bitch making breakfast in the morning. Oh my god, y'all gotta go downstairs. The lift driver fighting my, my friend. Damn, the night just crazy. Right, this is just crazy. 
I cannot believe why the motherfuckers is taking that nigga sad like that. Make sure you get your card so you won't lock yourself out the room. This shit is wild. Okay, see up. Stop disrespecting her. You're going to 63rd and Artesia. Please. My name is Siobhan Thomas. Please. Y'all got to be motherfucking. That sticks and stones don't break my bones, but that shit'll piss me off. I'll be ready to drive to another city. Fuck with these hoes on here. Hoes another state, I mean, because that shit ridiculous. No, nah, baby, this not no storyline. Y'all can stop saying that. Yeah, this shit ain't no fucking storyline. Bitches ain't got their windows bust. That nigga over there to lie. Lying like a motherfucker. But I ain't gonna argue with it. The whole crowd, they hate me, you know? Mm -hmm. I, I don't got that energy. Cause I was trying to keep up in them comments. Trust me, <laughs> like, y'all got puppy fucked up. You on your own, though, pump. I got to tell you that. I wouldn't I leave no that. damn Chicago just cause all of them talking about. Sure you know, wouldn't. I wouldn't leave no Chicago. Hello? All right. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, sisters. Hold on, sisters. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Hold on, sisters. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Hold on, sisters. Hold on. I'm chilling. Hey, Brandon. Fuck, this is some sad shit. I'm for real. I ain't no way in the yeah. fucking world. Motherfucker could do all this goddamn shit. Be a habitual offender like that. New motherfuckers worried about did y'all fuck or not. But that, that's all they worried about is my pussy. And that's why he's sitting over there right now. Everybody in the lab worried about my pussy. They are going to ask him how it feels. They that shit crazy as fuck. This shit some crazy shit. Of all the shit this nigga the motherfucking did. Of all the time these motherfuckers want to wake it up and do all the other shit. I don't think y'all worried about Did y'all fucking not? Was he supposed to give you any type of services or some shit? That and shit is crazy. Nigga, that shit don't make no nigga, fucking sense. The nigga on this app and he talking about I pay him. Nigga, I ain't even got no money to pay you to do shit. That's all they worried about. Yeah, he done a weak ass interview. And a woman, I don't even know who this woman is. So that means he's been plotting on me. He knew who I was when I walked in that goddamn uh and sat in that goddamn uh that shit and that car wash. Brandon, the nigga been watching me the whole time. That's why he don't want to let me go. And then a moment, look, the mama Tommy K said I had a nigga in, in a hotel. He got mad, like, oh, you ain't at the house. Pull back up over there. I'm on my way. He's getting mad because he think I'm fucking another nigga. Man, she trying to get away from your scum ass, you bitch ass nigga. Try, Fuck wrong with these people on here. This shit crazy. That's the only thing they worried about. A clown ass nigga named Dante Williams. Lame yeah, as rape, fuck. He, that's what he said. He was 17 years old and raped a 12 year old. That was his baby mama. He said she lied about it at her age. But all his shit say sex offender. But they believe it. Wait, but wait. I told y'all, I told y'all, he's a liar. He's a liar. Man. So you mean tell you 17? He was 17, she was 12. You can't tell the difference between a 12 year old. Like, be real. But they're going to believe anything. Be real. Because, because Dante over there talking bad about punk. This is the grand finale right here. A nigga that's threatening to kill me. A nigga that bust all my windows out. A nigga that y'all heard me say, get the fuck out of my house. And y'all to sit there and believe it. And then y'all mad because Tommy K got her windows busted out. She going over there fucking with my car. This dumb as hell. Dumb as hell. Of all the time, they want to wake up shit. Shit weird as fuck. These motherfuckers is lying. That shit, I'm... I don't, I don't know what to say. Like he's sitting over there right now, and I promise you, if I tell him come over here and get some of this pussy, he'll drop the whole interview. And these motherfuckers, they over here, they crying around here like he the victim. Wait, 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 what do you mean if I'm sitting with, with, with Brandon? Brandon just helped me get this man whole information. Tommy K pulled up to my house acting real wild and dumb. I let my car opening up my car. Tommy K in the church right now doing an interview with the same nigga that tried to fucking kill me. What are you talking about? 
Wait, what happened? They're doing a whole interview right now. You don't give a fuck, Nikki Maria. Shut your stupid ass the fuck up. So why fuck do you gotta do with anything? Talking about why I'm sitting with Brandon. Go ask Tommy K. Who said something like that? Go ask Tommy K. Who said that? Keep pushing. Shut your bitch ass up. Keep you the same one that wish motherfucking death. Are you the same one that wanted? Hold on, fuck. You the same one that wanted motherfucking pucker to die when she had her fucking procedure. Shut your bitch ass the fuck up. You soft ass nigga. Brandon, I don't, I don't you waking up on a nigga, you take uh, pussy too. Brandon, I don't want y'all getting into it. Please, this ain't. See, it's yeah. always. I'm just saying what's it's, real, punk. I'm just saying what's real. Act like you your motherfucking sister. You don't wish death on that girl. One of that girl to motherfucking die, you take pussy too. Only thing Brand, different is Brandon, the fact that your ass ain't get charged for this shit. Brandon, Brandon. Back please. to motherfucking reality. When it come down to it, a whole panel full of bitch ass niggas. When y'all need to be going to fuck in on somebody, you motherfuckers don't. Well, y'all need to be going to fuck ends on somebody. You motherfuckers use that mother. Y'all act like he the motherfucking victim. Weird ass nigga. You all you niggas over there is weird. Tommy K thought ass. Your weird ass. Anybody else over there? They ain't going to fuck in on that bitch ass nigga for the shit that he doing. Y'all weird and lame as fuck. Whether y'all like the shit or not, shut the fuck up. And this nigga made a whole page to come over here sitting with the church talking bad Man. about me after he just bust all my windows out. Threatening to kill me, y'all. And then he y'all sitting over there acting like this is my confederate. And I got all the messages right here. Come on, come on. Goddamn shine. You motherfuckers need to be going in. You motherfuckers ain't going in. Fuck around with you weird ass niggas. Weird ass thoughts on this app. Weird ass niggas on this app. You motherfuckers is soft and dumb as fuck. For all the goddamn way that you say, motherfuckers wait, wait, need wait. to do. Y'all say he ain't got a place to stay. Let's get into his seat. Because he said, he say I'm lying. And all it is, the man been on the app for the whole time. Let's get into Dante T. Dante, what do you say? I'm at home. Eat a dick. I'm coming back tonight. That's why he in his car. You see that? Y'all see that? She gone. Uh, well, when that's from? This today. He said he coming back to fuck my car up. He's going to finish the job. And oh yeah, so if y'all don't believe it, here we go. Here we go. Y'all see that? Dante. Dante. This Dante. Wait, what? This him. Act like he, know he, like he didn't know his stuff was outside on the porch. He texted me yesterday, yesterday morning. Good morning. I love you. Huh? 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 Wait. So, what was the purpose of of Ivy and Tommy K come on over there? Were they trying to protect you? No, they waited till I left my house. Tommy K and Ivy both was at my car, born in my car, telling the people that ain't no bullet in there, I'm lying, look at this car, it's fucked up, and all of this and all of that. Why are y'all out there touching my car? Knowing the police got to come back there tomorrow and do, and do the investigation on the car, because he fucked it up so bad. Then I went back to the police station because I had to go file more charges because he threatened me talking about he about to pull back up. That's why he's in the house now. That's why he's in the car now. Cause he told me, bitch, I'm on my way back over there. Everything that man sitting there saying tonight, he's a liar. He's a liar. He's sick, he's 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 a stalker. Punk, you better protect yourself. And now, and now don't he, trust nobody. Because he's watching me, so now he feel like I'm in a hotel. So the best way to get at me now, oh, let me go live. Oh, I'm sorry. They came to storyline you, but not protect you. That's some fucked up shit. And then while I'm in the restaurant, ordering me some food, Tommy K blowing my shit back. I'm like, Tommy K, stop calling me. And this is why I didn't want to take the help from Tommy K. This is why I didn't want them to take me to my hotel. This is why. Because I knew what they was going to do. I had my buddy to come over here and bring me a full fat tonight. I paid $300 for a full fat tonight. But when I go back home tomorrow, this is going to be like motherfucking, it's going to be a motherfucking fireworks show.
bitch. Like, I was like, I'll be better nigga. Don't tell tell nobody. No, that was a nigga dropping me off a thumper. That's what a throwaway. Don't tell nobody when you going on. Now, I want want that nigga to, I want him to know. He's already on the app, Brandon. He's watching me. He can't, the nigga say, I pay him. First, he said we got into it because he didn't give me no money. Those are facts. I asked the nigga for some ass money to go take care of my business. You want to fuck all day. You want to you wanna eat pussy all day. You want your dick suck all day. But the moment I ask you for a couple of dollars, you run out the door and slam the door and stay gone. You think, you think I'm going and you sit up and call me bitches and hoes. Let's talk about how you was beating me on my body, bitch. I'm going to wake it all the way up. This should be. This is supposed to be the time, Punky. That y'all, they supposed to be able to come together and be like, hold on, we finna protect Punky. Fuck all the bullshit. These motherfuckers give a fuck about. That, that nigga was sitting up there putting, trying to give me Charlie horses in my fucking legs. Cause I went fuck. Hit me out of my legs, bitch. Open your legs. Open your legs. Chief. And y'all sitting over here, y'all sitting over here protecting this nigga, acting like this nigga motherfucking mouth for prayer book. That nigga been watching me the whole fucking time. No, Chief, Chief's the only one that actually tried to wake it up on him. Huh? Y'all want to see the new star he put on me? Y'all want to see the new star? I got a, a, a motherfucking wound, a motherfucking girl right here on my leg. That nigga slapped me in my face oh, today. God. Fucked up my dough now. Keep on making sense. He got, and he said I'm... None of the motherfuckers should be over there off. He said I'm glad I got my shit before I fucked your shit up. And then gonna sit there and lie and say, I didn't touch her car. And gonna try to convince people that I'm lying on him. And all of this shit was gonna lie. Please. Somebody was saying her earlier. No, I did not say her earlier. I told her she needed a police escort. And I said she needed to go to a place, an undisclosed location, a shelter that when you go to a, when you get a domestic violence victims, you go to a shelter that's protected and everything else. This is just not the nigga to fuck around with. Because he has he has tried to get your ass. He already ain't got shit to live for. Dark and love you. Somebody just said that shit. And then Tommy K, Tommy K over there trying to drive this thing. And she got a nigga at the hotel. Ah, ah, fuck that bitch up. Pull back to your house. I don't give a fuck who the fuck come for me. And none of you motherfuckers come over here. Shit. It'll be like the wild, wild west around this bitch. Somebody come over to my crib. And my shit public, too. And all you motherfuckers don't have no my address. Give me this motherfucking match. Fuck, I don't like being scared, Smarty. You ain't in the way in the fucking world. Shit. Let me stop writing your goddamn tracks. I just don't like the fact that you motherfuckers, they, lo- they loan to victimize on this bitch. They love victimizing. That's some crazy shit. I ain't about that life. You crazy. Come test them waters. See what it's about. None of you motherfuckers is. I told you, you ain't got to tell me when y'all coming either. If you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. I'm going to get notified when you outside. Don't even trip. I'll get a notification on my phone. It'll show me when you outside. He told you he a killer and got real. He got no fucking money. Join that raggedy ass Benz. Fuck him. Shit just weird as fuck. Y'all should be y'all should be the motherfuckers on here coming together. She done busted she done. I don't know if he done shot the windows out or busted the windows out. The motherfucker's windows got busted out and Punkin, Punkin ain't did the shit. That's for damn sure. I definitely didn't do it. Threatened her. I definitely didn't do it. He threatened her and Tommy. Well, he threatened her and Tommy K cosign. Yeah. For what? Because she mad because my security bust out her windows. 
She pulled up, turned down. And look at this drug thing. Well, wait, who windows got bust? bust uh, hold on. Tommy K windows got bust yes. out? Yes. She pulled she pulled back over around my house while I was getting my car together. Tommy K pulled back on live. Her and Ivy talking crazy. My security snatched the phone. Tommy K was like, Oh, you you snatch a motherfucking phone. So it went escalate. I tried to stop him. He didn't stop. He told her he asked to pull off, they would. So he bust the window. Yeah, I got too much shit going on here. God damn. Now my location though. I don't, I don't even know the size. I'm talking crazy. Yeah, punky, don't tell nobody when you're going home and nothing like that. I know. And why do you think I'm going to take a walk? So that I want to drop off at the hotel. These bitches want to storyline me from the kid. Yeah, they would have given up your location. They would have given up your location easily. Easily. You could good. Can't care. You could tell by his, his, his background. He ain't he ain't playing around. Like he ain't got shit to live for. He live on a hard life. Like he ain't. You know, Tommy was recording. They was worried about mentioning my name on live at Pumpkin Card. They was mentioning my name. What? Hmm? Money love. I don't understand that shit either. I don't understand why they talking to the motherfucker. He the one messed up punky car, threatening punky life and everything else. Like, I don't know. But that's what they do, though, you know? That's how they get down, Brandon. Yeah. Punkin' all that shit about... And don't worry about nobody trying to say you a snitch or no shit like that. Fuck that. You a single black woman. Do what the fuck you got to do to protect yourself. They over there. These motherfuckers ain't going to give two fucks. Two fucks. They over there telling him. They, they over there talking about. <laughs> They told, they told him I got AIDS. What up, Super 7? Oh, my God. Y'all, they over there. worried about me. Imagine this shit. Imagine this. This is how these weird-ass niggas is. Keep shut your soft ass the fuck up. Fuck your life and your life in danger. Ain't no motherfuckers talking about she's sitting with Brandon. She said your soft asses the fuck up. These motherfuckers is weird on here. Y'all see that shit? That's all they care. Worry about me. This shit is crazy. This shit is some crazy shit. Damn, that's big energy. Damn, that's big energy right there. Big ass energy right there. Big energy. Big energy. You see how you did that? And that's what the bitch did to my. Put your line ass up. Better stop lying. Make it up shit. This shit is weird. Now they protecting the goddamn. <sighs> Parking did what? What did you say? Parking did what? Look, I don't give a fuck about nothing. Y'all say pumpkin and said about me, y'all. When it's a serious situation, I'm able to separate the BS from reality. I'm like these weirdos on this motherfucking app that be obsessed. 
because niggas is doing better than they ass. I'm ready and to separate the BS like from reality. These motherfuckers so hate them. And friend, he's sitting up there acting like he hate them. He ain't laughing at their jokes. He's just sitting there. Man. This shit weird. For real, Hogany. Like shit crazy. They'd rather see your ass get hurt. That's what it's based on, friends. Oh my gosh, she's sitting with keys. Pocket deserve to be hurt. Shut the fuck up. No, but this, yeah, I understand that, but I'm just talking about this, the, the difference. It's two different things. Like the BS, the shit that's on here, reality, the shit that she got going on in real life. Real life. Anybody see, see her get hurt or get go out like that? These motherfuckers to justify her being hurt or some her being killed or some shit like that over the fact that well she was lying with Brandon, she was lying with Keys. She deserves it. She deserves it. Yeah, I'll put that shit out ASAP. I'm fucking look tomorrow. You need to go down there and just make sure. Don't don't sit up there tomorrow and play around. Get that shit. Get them. Get that warrant. Take her out. You heard what the police told your ass? Yeah. Facts, honey, V. Not everything a goddamn storyline. It'd be a whole bunch of woulda, coulda, shillas around here. One wrong move. You know the niggas are weirdo. He can fuck a 12-year-old, fuck a 13-year-old. He can bust out your car windows, threaten your life. Whether he shot the windows out, whether he busting them out with a bat. You don't give a fuck about I none of that. Fuck. I just, I, I'm staying the fuck away from him. I don't care if they have a meeting or whatever. I don't care what he say and all that. They over there telling the man I got A's and all type of shit. And he shot. They worried about your pussy. my text results, so this is crazy. But you know, they just trying to throw more feet to the fight for him to hurt me. You show, you showed them your text test mm -hmm. results. What, what they worried? Why they worried about that shit you though? Is this the shit they worried about? He said... Baby, when it comes to parking... They were really choking and laughing with this sicko. For real. I let you know the motherfucker, it don't matter what the motherfucker do, boy. Oh my gosh, you lying with cheese. Fuck her health. Fuck her safety. They like, did you say you love her? He over That's there like, crazy I don't love shit. that bitch. Well, if you don't love me, bitch, leave me alone. If you don't love a bitch, get the fuck around. Bust my window, G, you even. You got all your shit. You cool. I don't love his ass either. Yeah, he coming back to play golf at your place. But why he playing? He ain't gonna play no golf at my place because he can't even get to my house. What are you talking about? He about to play golf at your place. And they laughing and cheering this shit on. Yeah, they are. But it is what it is, G. I have to go in on them heathens. Only... For real. He, finna tell, he definitely said he coming back to see. And, and then he, he said, I'm not saying, I didn't bust out windows. He got mad one time because he said I had a nigga at my house. It's sick. Like, Hey, so Punkin, are you a good distance from uh your house, right? You not you you a good distance, right? You not. I'm all the way on the north side. No, don't say the north side, Punk. I'm just saying you good good distance. Yeah, I'm a good distance. Okay. And I'll be here for a few days. Thank you to my supporters. Yeah. 
I thank I thank y'all for worried about my life, y'all. I thank y'all for helping me get this hotel room. I really appreciate y'all. Tommy told him to shoot up your house. Tommy said, that's a dumbass thought right there. That is a dumbass thought. Tommy's retarded. But Brandon, don't no good. She's still don't, at home. don't nothing, don't nothing good come to people like that. Don't nothing good come to people like that. And I know, I know he's mad at me. I know, I know he's mad at me. But how you gonna get mad at me when y'all all sitting over there talking bad about me? Keep when he never got on no counter with a bunch of motherfuckers because they, those his homies. I'm wrong. These motherfuckers is adding fuel to the fire. Any motherfucker, any motherfucker that don't give a fuck about your safety, fuck him. They don't give a fuck about your safety, fuck him. And it's crazy, like it's 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 real, like crazy. But I guess Tommy K and and uh, and and I be happy now that they got a piece of my a piece of what's going on in my life. Bitches be so desperate just to get in between some dumb shit that's going on, and my life is in jeopardy. So I guess y'all happy now. Y'all got what y'all want. Y'all everybody should be happy. She playing on my face. She's still at home. No, she's not at. She's not at home. Don't worry about where I'm at. Don't worry about. It. My supporters know where I'm at. They know. So Keith wasn't that, so Keith the only one that was saying something. Damn, but said Parkinson with ops, but come back to them for being where she is fuck. Oh, he was saying something at first, but then the fact that she lied with me. Keith, shut the fuck up. You ain't no motherfucking mind. I'm not your motherfucking op, boy. You just a hater. You just a lame-ass hater, nigga. We not ops. Your ops is the nigga that shot at your ass. The ones that shot at your ass that you befriended. Them are your ops. That nigga bust out all the my windows is... in my car, y'all. Bust out all my They should be going. They should be. At, they should be at this top. So if fans are bust, they should be at this head. They should be at this head. I ain't no if fans are bust. Well, I don't know. We don't know if he shot him out, busted him out. The motherfucking windows is, is busted the fuck out. But I don't talk to fake pages. She said he's not messing with pumpkin anymore for being over here. Charlie, charge this hell. Who cares? You asked for it, trying to hold him hostage. Who trying to hold who hostage? <laughs> we all talking about. Okay. And y'all believe it. Y'all believe it. That's right, y'all. Those guns up. Convince nobody. <laughs> I heard some sounds. Whatever he did, they gone now. Tell me, K windows don't go to. Why you ain't going? Around? Obviously, not in Chicago. I ain't in Chicago. Always for always blaming the victim. Facts, they get, they got that shit bad on here. They blame the victim for whatever the fuck it is. They blame the goddamn victim. She needs to get a restraining order. That's, look, he the type of cat a restraining order ain't gonna do shit. She gotta get a warrant off with her. That motherfucker gotta be locked up. A little piece of paper, shit. That little piece of paper ain't gonna. Mm -mm. He the type of motherfucker. If he wants some shit, he gonna go over there and get it. Let's see, I didn't say she have a gun, but just it. She bought one. Tommy Nash shot you. He shot your house window. He shot the house window. What y'all talking about? He shot my house windows. Okay. 
fucking punch me. Her line. Her line. Josh, get your thought ass off that fake page. You retarded. Start she is. And she had a hotel while the background, because she don't want nobody to see you. Yeah, she's not at home. Tommy K busted case. She's at home. Tommy K didn't bust my window, y'all. LJ, she is at home. She just checked the window. They wonder how I check my windows. I got I got a security system in my house. I got cameras in my house. I got cameras around my car and I got cameras in my house. I got a whole security system. I got a security system around my car. I got a security system. I got a whole security system. Y'all talking about? Yeah, them hotel blankets, they, they is true. Brandon, go beat your wife's, um, uh-uh. Just keep the, I'm going to say that do this in the moon. It's not work. Let me show y'all. I got a whole security system. Everything, everything that Dante did, everything that Dante did, guess what? It's on it, I got a whole security system now. Oh, okay. All right. Sorry. He's still sitting over there, Punker? Huh? Is he still on that lawn? And they still protecting him? I don't know, but I'm about to see if he over there around my house. No, he's gone, so he's watching the live right now. Yeah, he's watching the live. Why you don't come over this way? The end of the live, come over this way. All he's going to do is sit up and lie. He's a very good manipulator. Very good. Brad, I'm about to take pictures of the, abuses, the bruises he put on my body. I'm about to send them to you. I'm about to take a picture of all the bruises that the nigga put on my body. Dante, come holler at me. I'm young. I'm careful, y'all. I'm careful. I'm about to show Brandy. Brandy, I'm about to take a picture of the bruise. This is this the recent bruise she put on my head. Because I went over my legs to give him the pussy. Now, Brandy, you tell me, you tell me what's wrong with this picture. Ready, ready. Uh, yeah. Mediator. Hell no, ain't no mediator. Not with him. He need to get pressure. Fuck a mediator. Ready, you see that? See that ring? Hold on, let me see. Oh, yeah, I see it. Should I go on? Should I should I show how he would like but, but, for me to open but my that ain't, Should I go on? Huh? Should I go on, Dante? Huh? But that but how did Punky, y'all ain't even been together that long, no. I used to tell a man no, I didn't want to fuck. He used to hit my legs, bite my thighs, all that shit. Open them up, open them up. That's weird. Well, I can say I can show you more pictures. As you look, if you look hard enough, Brandon, I got a bruise sitting up at the top. Dante, tell, tell them about what you did to me, bitch. Tell them, Dante. <laughs> tell them, Dante. Tell them. What 
y'all with y'all manipulative ass. Where you at? Comment something. I bet you ain't gonna comment. Dante, why you do this? Huh? Why you do that, Dante? Why you do that? Should we start to laugh all the bruises you put on me? Cause you wanted some pussy. Weird ass bitch. Here. Hey, Punk, you just met this nigga at the gas station, they said? No, I met him at the car wash. But he's about to At the car about wash? The How soon before he came over? Punk? Then he came to my house the first night. No, oh, Punk. No, yeah, that's dead. Mm. I'm some chicken and shit. Always oh, old kicking his ass, nigga. Don't want to. Don't want to go home when it's time. Go ahead, fuck on. And they talk about the storyline got real. Y'all women in the audience that are so fucking dumb. This man been watching me on Bingo Live forever. All right? Don't nobody got a storyline, no toxic shit like this. Come on now. Y'all act like y'all wasn't on the live when I asked the nigga to leave my motherfucking residence. Hey, he kept on getting mad. I was on, I was on live when he kept on saying, all this would have never happened only if you would have loved me. Only if you would have showed me some affection. Only if you would have just loved on me. Y'all was on the line when that nigga was saying all that weird ass shit. He got mad. He said you gave him money. I ain't got, I didn't give him no I money. I gave that nigga a motherfucking dime. Tell Dante to show what money I gave him. What money? What money? <laughs> Lying ass. But you gave me some money though, Dante. Right, they like about it. I don't even have no money. That's why we got into it. Because I asked them for some money to put some gas in my car. I, can just beg him to come over. I was begging him to come over. Bitch, I never had to beg Dante to come nowhere. That is a lie. I never had to beg Dante to come nowhere, y'all. That's what yeah, I mean. Okay, so, okay, they said she had his clothes. Well, he, he got his clothes back. He got all his stuff. Everything working. The Xbox work. His clothes is clean. He eats me. But the only thing he got... So why he still pressed in? up in my house and fuck around on me and mistreat me, verbally abuse me, beat on me. I don't want it. You ain't about to break me mentally. You're not about to have me walk around here as a low self-esteem ass bitch. You tried your hardest to break me. And it didn't work, so now you want to try to break me in another way. And that still ain't going to work. Before you break me, you're going to be locked up. Fred, he got his clothes back. He should get the fuck that on. That he got everything like. back. His PlayStation or the PS4. He got everything back. His controllers. He walked out the door with my batteries. He walked out the door with clean clothes. Underwear. Everything was clean when he walked out. And he only five foot six. You short man ass syndrome ass nigga. That's your problem right there. You got little man syndrome. That's a straight up problem. Napoleon complex. But he taller than me. Far six. You gotta wear heels around that nigga. I then you come on live. Then you come on live to do it. It's cold as fucking Chicago. You can't even, like you gotta wear flats around this nigga the whole time. It's cold as fucking Chicago. You wanna wear some boots or something? You can't even wear that shit. Well, I hope he found what he's looking for on Bingo. Ladies, when y'all meet him, don't take that nigga to your house. 
take him to a hotel room and make sure he jagged that money off. Because he act like he got it and he ain't going to spend a dime. He's going to take you out to eat a couple of times. After that, he's going to be running around acting like he don't owe you shit. Watch what you do with this nigga. This nigga's real dangerous. A real crummy ass nigga. Only one one. Only motherfucker want a nigga like that is goddamn Tommy K. That's it. Next thing you know, you're gonna see you gonna see goddamn Kerry with a star in his fucking head. Kerry gonna have a star in his goddamn head. Ain't nobody everybody gonna wonder why. Y'all ladies, y'all y'all be careful. Y'all be careful. Hey punk, when the last time you, you called him or text him? Tonight. And said what? I didn't text him. Somebody else texted him. I don't know what they said to him. I just see his remarks. She keep talking to him. I don't talk to that man. I showed that message, you guys. She keep talking to you? No, I don't. He showed the text. I showed the text. That nigga, that nigga got some fake dread, threads going around. Because I ain't say shit to that man. He know the conversation he said to me. That's what I be saying. This nigga had to been on bingo for a while. He had to. He had to been on. He had to been on bingo for a while. This nigga even know how to do fake text messages. Ask him. He even know how to do fake text messages. That motherfucker nigga been on bingo for a while now, huh? My boy, you been on here for a while. I stole him this. Let him know, bitch. I know who you are. I know who you are, bitch. I know who you are. Okay? And you did say, I love you. He said you that. said that yesterday. You said, good morning. I love you. you crazy, babe. Because his, his, his daughter, his stepdaughter is my cousin. Okay? All right? His stepdaughter is your cousin? His stepdaughter is my cousin. He's married to my cousin, mom. Let's get into it. When did I text you, Dante, besides this? Huh? And what time was this when I text you, Dante? Let's see. Because this nigga be lying. I texted him yesterday. You see that? 815. 815. Oh, when did I text you, Dante? Back. Dante, when did I text you? That's today. You text me, my boy. You're so delusional and retarded. You text me. You bitch ass nigga. And when I wasn't responding, guess what he said? He said, laugh now, cry later. What is he talking about? Dante, you ain't nothing but a liar. Now you, now you, now, 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 you, now you docking fake messages and shit. Weird. Damn. You want, you want to be, you want to be in the mid crowd so bad. You want to be a, you want to be a big rocker. I thought you, I thought you was making money. You say you make three thousand dollars a night, but you on social media, but fuck her. Why? Do not fake messages, y'all. She just scrolled up and everything. They talk about, oh my God, her lie. I, I can't stand these bitches that just get blinded by niggas. Like, bitch, get out my face. Admin, where y'all at? Well, her, her lie about what, y'all? Ain't nothing I said that I lied about. Brandy, you see the scars that he put on me? Yeah, I see it. No, you saw the whole lie. They talking about she didn't know the wife. I didn't know who his wife was at first. What are you talking about? I just found out who his wife was yesterday. What do y'all goofy bitch? You know what? Admin. 
Brandon, I'm about to go, G. I can't, I can't do this. I can't. Because all they want to do is just sit up and just talk crazy. I'll talk to you later, Brandon. I, I, don't, I don't got time for none of that. Them bitches can stay over there. I don't got time for none of that, bitch. I don't got time for none of that. Hello. Hey, pumpkin. Hey, boo. Um, I just want to say, um, these women on here is very sick. Oh, For them to be saying that she's lying about being abused, and we supposed to be fucking women, that's some sick shit. And Tommy K, you and that girl had motherfucking beef before. What did you think? What was gonna happen? Saying, and I'm coming in on peace. What the fuck did you think? You gonna come to somebody's house? But wait a minute. But wait you minute. already but had wait. fucking beef with and but wait about I'm coming to peace. That just, bitch, man. if I lived in Chicago, I will fuck that bitch up for you and I put that on my mama. That bitch I'm is sick, she's evil, and something is wrong with that bitch. Man, I, I, man, she's sick, man. These women are saying she lying like this. Yo, pumpkin, this shit hurt me so bad because I'm reading these comments. I'm sick to my stomach. I'm sick to my stomach and I'm dead ass. Like this shit, I gotta get off here. This some toxic fucking shit. These women must be getting abused or some shit to be saying she lying. We all fucking been they, they saying that with a nigga saying they, I'm done. Saying I'm done. That. Let me just say you why. They don't give a fuck. These bitches are blinded. Tommy K got her windows busted out by the security because Tommy K thought she's gonna come over there and stunt. And then keep that man because I was sitting with Brandon. But they all get to sit on there and, and yeah. do all this crazy shit. But you know, keep going. It, it, it's it's like this. I try to like you, but I can't like you. So when anything yep. now, the the smallest thing, they try to throw me underneath the bus because mm -hmm. would have been me going over there to her her shit when shit was going down like this, and I got hurt. They would have like your dumb ass should have never went over there. Yup, yup, yep. you nosy ass. Yup, but by the fact that you ain't lying. Yeah. But by the fact that she came over there doing it to me, they trying to justify and keep really mad mm -hmm. because Tommy K got a windows bus, but he don't want to stay. But he gonna say, oh, you sitting over there with Brandon. But y'all all sitting over there dogging me, asking this man, y'all, this man sitting out there exactly. beating my ass, and y'all worried about if he fucked me wrong, how was I you? know. Like, what I'm, kind of listen, that? let's just, let's just throw it out there. Tommy K want to fuck pastor. Let's just throw it out there. Tommy K want to fuck pastor, and it is what the fuck it is. You old fucking bald headed looking. When, when I say that bitch is fucking look terrible, wig always lifted. And then girl had the nerve to sit a big ogre looking ass up there calling somebody ugly. Girl, you got I know. The fuck you nerve. fucking got five stomachs, bitch. How that, dare you? That bitch shit is with a flat like ass it. booty. Okay, big old ass. Can I speak? Yes, baby, I'm pissed. Go ahead. Yeah, baby, we can tell, baby, you long with it, baby, but it's okay because I feel you. I do agree with exactly what you're saying. Now, on the other hand, we um, P Pumpkin, you was never gonna fit in anyways. Because one thing about it, a real bitch, you ain't gonna fall for anything. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now, whether something is wrong and you don't agree with that shit. That you went, you weren't meant to be over there. Cause see all the rest of them bitches. And Tommy K, I used to like Tommy K before she really got deep off in that motherfucking church like that. And yep. so, well, she can't even think for herself. Like that lady had a good panel going on. I mean, when it was wait a minute, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Tommy K and Ivy pulled up to my house while I'm trying to get stuff situated for myself. I, I wasn't even lying. Why would y'all pull up over there on my block? While I'm trying exactly. to get my shit together, they Cloud come chasing. over on the block with their phones out. Ah, look at this bitch right here. This bitch <laughs> broken. Ah, and it's like, what, what? are you doing? Yeah, my security. Cloud day, chasing. My, my, my security. Uh, you had beef with her before. You you had beef with her before. What makes you but think look, I'm, I'm not gonna hood. be on fucking point? But look, check this out. I'm in my purse. I'm about to grab my little twenty-two. I was about to shoot that bitch in her face. Okay. And I, I, I said, I said, oh, you I, said Tommy K, I said, go ahead on about your business, bitch. She started raising her window up. And I'm like, go ahead on about your business. 
And I put my shit down. I said, Tommy K gone. I be on the other side. Look at this drug. Look at this broke bitch with this fake security guard. Ah! What? And all this stuff. So my security guard like, man, get y'all get the fuck out the way. I be sitting up there talking a hundred grand shit about the security guard. Tommy K laughed and they both got their phones out the window, like this in my face while I'm trying to get my car duct taped up. I was about to move my car, but here they come. <sighs> Wow, I can't even get that's what she did. Oh my God, I'm so mad. I'm hurt. Can I get it? I'm telling, I'm telling, I'm telling mm. them to just move around, cause it, it like it was niggas on all corners when I went down there. I'm telling them y'all just move around, get the fuck on. Why y'all here? Why y'all even got me online? I'm dating my privacy for beans, for beans. <laughs> Beans. <laughs> That's what it is. Can I finish pumpkin? Yeah, I'm sorry. No, you're fine. I understand you being. But like I was saying, that lady had a good panel before Autumn came over. That dude was talking to her. And then she was going to bring you up. You know what I'm saying? So you can talk to him. And so y'all y'all never got to talk again because I don't think y'all should. But you know what I'm saying? He, you should at least express to him. I don't want to fuck with you no more. What you did, that shit was overboard. I, I, he just gonna let the police handle it. He Hold on, punk. He knows that he don't care. He do Agre not care. But, but listen, pumpkin. That's not y'all didn't even get the chance to even speak. You know what I'm saying? Because they came over. Tommy K came with that loud ass motherfucking mic. Then it just became a church thing with Tommy, then Ivy, then Joe, then Pastor. Like, who and the fuck? All, Ain't nobody even said, invite y'all bitches you over said, here. Wait you, minute, and that, if you said you loved her, did you fuck around? What was the pussy like? What happened? Like, like, you so dangerous. They just take over shit, and I really don't like that shit, and I see how Tommy move. If y'all look at that shit, now, at first, I was with Tommy when her and Trina had that beef, but you better look at how motherfuckers moving. It looked like it was a motive to that shit. Now, normally I would have came on my foo foo page to say this shit, but I'm just being real. I don't fuck and with Tommy K because that bitch is very manipulative. They better look at that shit. Hold on. I don't give a fuck what nobody say because Dante a liar like a motherfucker. Like he sat there and he lied through All his them teeth. bitches is. Like he lied through his teeth, him and Tommy talking. Because soon as I soon as I drove off from her after my security did that, he called my phone like, yeah, bitch. Yeah, you playing with me on that bingo. I'm going to show you, bitch. Yeah, she told me. And I'm like, what are you But doing? let me ask you something, pumpkin. Would you want, who, like, everybody in the comments. Who would want somebody, all uh, yes people around you? Me, if I'm wrong, bitch, let me know when I'm wrong. Nobody, as us as grown fucking adults, we don't need no yes people around us. Bitch, I always want a motherfucker they're going to tell me when I'm wrong. Any bitch you can't check when they wrong because they never could check past it. You bitches can't say shit to him when he wrong because it's dead ass wrong when he, what he did to that girl. You know that girl who pregnant, who just had that baby. You telling her she can't even get child support? And if you do get child support, you going to, like, go to jail or some shit. Like, that's some no. bullshit. Y'all don't no. even get him. He for that. No. Shut up. God damn. Shut fuck up. Oh, no, bitch, don't do me not. when Big O' App was up here talking over me, bitch. Fuck you. I'm going to talk and say what yeah. I want to say. Because what I'm yeah. saying is all facts. You know what I'm saying? Pumpkin, don't worry about that shit. Them folks didn't hurt you. What they did was just made you stronger. And fuck them. Facts, man. I was just checking on you because I some just told me to come on here, but um I was listening in the other live too, and I just want to say this: Tommy K them know they dead ass wrong. You don't go in no dangerous situation. So the backlash you got, you got stay the fuck out of people situations that ain't have nothing to do with them, and that's just dead ass. Thanks. Hey, babe. Hey, P. I want to tell you um. I do apologize because when, when I went back to the live, that the guy, God Zeus, I realized he really wasn't trying to be messy. He was checking a dude about his sex offender stuff and everything, and he kept trying to put it on that. So after I got to listening to it more, he kept trying to bring the energy to that. But the lady, Tommy K, she was like, I don't know if you guys are into it because, you know, I don't know that lady. So I don't know if she don't like you or something, but it got to be something that she just don't like about you, which don't make any sense. Because when somebody asks her to comment, I don't like to sit. I don't want to sit with her. 
Cause yeah, because somebody asked her in the comments. I, look, y'all, I wasn't on live. This bitch blew my phone up. This bitch called me five times. Hey, fucking this Tommy K. I said, hey. I was like, who? She said, this Tommy K. Because sound like she was at a bar. I hung up. I hung up. Uh uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, Pumpkin, hold on. No, because God Zeus was trying to be messy, boo. God Zeus was definitely trying to be messy. He wasn't trying to do anything. He was trying to um, find the fast. He was being messy. That's what he was doing. We forgetting that. He was trying to be messy. That's what he was trying to do. He was over there gifting that lady and everything. He was trying to be messy. He wasn't trying to um, help Pumpkin out. He was being messy. But I did oh. come up here to say, but I did, I'm sorry, I need me to cut you off, but I did come here uh, to say. you're fine, because I only saw, saw a little bit, so now I'm like, damn, I guess he was being messy, because I was over there when Pumpkin was over there. Yeah, but I did want to come up here and say this, um, Pumpkin, in the beginning, Pastor was not um talking bad about you, Pastor was actually taking up for you and checking him about um, certain stuff, too. But I do agree, like, that with um, Tommy and everything, that is just so weird, like, people will literally get themselves K-I-L-L'd over this app for real. And this thing is a game. It's not a game. And then while it's not a storyline. She better be glad I stopped him from shooting her. Because he really wanted to take that bitch up out of here. And I, he, I, don't, 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 don't say none of that. Yeah, no, don't that, say that. That's, that. That's, don't, why, that's why I wanted to come up here and tell you this. Because I don't know what she's trying to do. But I don't care what she's trying to do. Tommy K pulled up to my car. She was acting crazy, doing all this stuff. She was going to get taken up out of here. I kept telling Tommy K, pull off, man, pull off. She kept on, she kept on, she kept on, she kept on. But it doesn't matter what she tried to do. I got the video of her touching my property. Why are you on my block? Why are you touching? Why are you inside of my car? Why? So whatever Tommy K tried to do, I'm already 10 steps ahead of her. I already went out and put out a police report on her and Ivy for either going over there touching my shit. I already knew what they was going to be about. Once I didn't see them on live no more, I already knew they was on their way to my block. Because Tommy K said, when we leave out this bar, Tommy K be all up on 79. I don't know what bar she be at. I know, I know everything, where this bitch go at, what she be at, who she drink with. So with that being said and done, she was right down the street from my house. Tommy K, they just wanted to get some news. Tommy, Tommy K called me on the phone. I kept on telling her, stop calling me. Stop calling me. Stop calling me. You pulled up on my car, harassing me, stalking me, all in my car, got the camera in my face while I'm trying to take care of my business. I don't give a fuck what she do. I already got my police report. I don't care. Yeah, do, do whatever you need to do. But that lady... She too damn old for this. Like, that don't make no sense. Is she talking about you responsible for whatever happened to her car? You're not responsible for that. Whoever exactly. damaged her car, you are not responsible for that, Pete. And she cannot get you charged for that. That's just like me going to Zay Zay house and something happened to me and he didn't do it. I can't tell the police he's the cause of that. I had no business right. going to his house. And I and I got the video. They at the end the crazy part about it is Tommy K and 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 and, and the bitch Ivy, they incriminate themselves. They want to go live and say, look, y'all, here, look, 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 look. And let me, <laughs> and let me tell y'all how he came on this live. And how he met how he met that. I'm gonna drop so Miss New Orleans can come on. Let me drop that. Yeah, hold I'm on, drop on, too hold bad. On, hold on, let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all how, how that girl got him up. Cause I accidentally showed the number. So they called his phone. He answered, and she probably texted, text texting like, "Can you come on my lab? Punkin accidentally showed your number." So he came over here to like, you know, that's how it happened because I just showed his number. I just showed his number. I. Showed it. So you know what part of the conversation that really stuck out to me? The part where they were saying, well, we came in peace. We came to check on her. But if you come in in peace and you come in to check on me and I tell you leave because of the situation is going out of control, then you should respect my mind and you should fucking leave. You should come on here jumping on here up there talking about some. You coming in peace. You coming in peace. Because now the situation has changed because I asked you nicely to go. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So that right there look a little suspicious. If you come in peace, come in peace. If I ask, if I need your help, I'll ask for it. Yes, that's true. And they were just trying to be nosy. And guess what? You jumped in that water. You brought your car out there. 
and not whatever happens to you, hey, you got to take your L, and you got to you gotta do what you got to do, and you got to get your shit fixed. That's not my, that shouldn't be your responsibility, Pumpkin, because you asked them to leave. I'm not paying for shit. And if Tommy K want to fight, and you don't fight, have to. We can fight. We can fight. I ain't scared of no hope. I promise when that bitch, I swear to God on my soul, God can take me now. What they think that nigga doing, I will fuck that bitch Tommy K whole understanding of G. I'm not lying. I don't give a fuck. I will fuck that. She think her car fucked. I will fuck that K face up. I really the fuck with it. And, and I'm going to say this and then I'm going to drop I'm going to say this and then I'm going to drop down so stay and guess what, whatever happens to it, going to happen to because you put yourself in that water, ain't nobody put a gun up, uh, put, ain't nobody put a G went up to your head and told you to come down there trying to be messy and try to get content, so whatever happens, happens, period Did you call Tommy K down there? No. No, we okay, told well, her. Oh, well, whatever we happened, it's whatever happened. We, we told her on live. live. We didn't call her down there, so you don't got to We told her on live um, that ass. to not go down there. She still went down there. We were telling people to go over there and tell her don't go. I even went over there, and I was seeing people tell her not to go over there. She even made a sermon about that she wasn't going, and she still ended up down there because she said she don't do hood niggas. Now she all of a sudden up on the panel hanging with a hood nigga. So it's just, it's it's like, I don't know. And also, y'all in the comments, some of y'all, if I kick you, y'all was giving me anxiety. Y'all was going everywhere. Y'all everywhere in the comments. When she lying and when people get up here, y'all got to calm down a little bit because y'all overdoing it. Like uh, some of y'all coming here and y'all overdoing it, like, and it's giving me anxiety. So if I kick you and if you wasn't really talking about pumpkin, I'm sorry, but... Y'all got to slow down with all the retarded comments. It's it's really not that serious. It's not that serious on y'all side to be typing the type of stuff that y'all typing. It's serious on Punkin' side. So that's why I'm kicking y'all because ain't nobody going through all that. Trying to read it. Just slow down with all the threats, the comments, the threats about comments. You won't get kicked. Just watch. And we've been up. We've been on this all day. Just chill out a little bit. It's going on 3 o'clock. And y'all still typing weird, crazy stuff. But y'all didn't notice when, when he thought yeah. I had a nigga. Wait, did y'all notice when he thought I had a nigga, he got mad? But he was just over there laying up with his baby mama. Like, how do you get mad at somebody for having a nigga when you fucking with your baby mama? Like, make it the fuck make sense. Right. It. I mean, at this point, sis, uh, it's just motherfucking up and stuck. That's it. Motherfuckers inserted themselves. Now it's up and it's stuck. Do what you gotta do. And it's that on it. Yeah. Pup, I can't believe that man did that shit. He just mad because he ain't, it seemed like he don't have nowhere else to go. So he just took it out on your car. Like that shit is he so crazy. For... He was just laid up in his baby mama house with his baby. Like he got Why him. is he so mad at you? Like, I don't, I don't get it. He got that shit home. is crazy. He and then for Ivy and Tommy K, ugly, fat, flat back, ugly asses to come pull up on your car like that. You ugly ass. Go get some fucking dick for real. Because Ivy, bitch, did you just drive all the way to fucking Atlanta on a fucking Greyhound bus to see a fucking nigga? That's what she mad about because don't nobody want her fat, ugly ass. Ugh, these hoes get on my nerves. So, can you hear me, baby? I you. Okay, Punkin, I'm the baby. I only came up here is because I cashed at you. Not only that, yesterday when it started, I followed you. I have been following you ever since when you was over in Keys. So that's how long I've been following you, little baby. So in the course of that, though, one of your people, they kicked me. Yeah, why you I, I didn't say baby? Who kicked you? Yeah, yeah. I always say my baby too. Every time I'm saying something, I put behind it my baby, my baby. I, I don't care about being kicked now. What I do care is you, my baby. Let me share something with you, okay? Here's I'm a sister. 
just like you and all these other babies that is supporting you. Okay, it take a team to support, but it, it take God to hold on and hold you through a storm. Because whatever storm that he take you through, my baby, he is going to see you through an open door that is going to be so wide and big that they're going to still keep hating on you. That's what the haters do. But no weapon form against you, my sister, shall prosper. And that's what you're going to do. All that negative, all that rigging wrong. Because every day we live, it's people that's dying constantly for unjust shit. You understand what I'm saying, baby? And, and he got you can't even walk and walk. And he got in his mind, the police don't give a fuck about me. He gonna do what he wants. Right. To do. That's what he got in his mind. I'm gonna do what yeah, I want to do with this bitch. Because guess what? It's Yes, baby. You got to be careful where you at, too. That part right there. Like, take some hand sanitizer and some shit and spray. Because that shit right there, baby, you don't need all that. And you don't need all this. This, You don't. Why stay up all night and, and really you're not going to get no proper rest? You got to make sure that the animals be taken out and all that stuff. Let's just pray with peace. You know, it was another person on here. It worked at Walmart. They went to go clock in, baby. And, and their manager came in the on break place and started shooting it up. So when you look at stuff that's going around the world, like today, for real, baby, we got to be really cautious of our right and our love. And then now, the manager, my baby, the I do. Shot up Walmart? Yes, baby, tonight in Virginia, Virginia Beach. Like, it's really sad. I come on here, baby, sometimes just to... Hold my head up just to look at people, you know, just to see what people are going through. But sometimes I'll be like, wow, this is the most saddest app I've ever seen in my life to be on here to say that this is your job. And you clocking in and then you just got people. You got to watch over your head. Maybe this is not the site to be on. All we got to do is keep on remembering that God will take care of us if we just hold on. But I'm going to get down, my baby. But sometimes you got to tell your your team, they got to watch who you kick because you be kicking your money out the door. Yes, ma'am. No, no lie. I love you, and I'm still going to support you, my baby, okay? Thank you. And you're going to be my prayer always, always, always. Now, you can put me down because this is the first time I ever came up on somebody's page. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. Go ahead, sister. Hey, boy. So what I was going to say was, he probably don't have nowhere to go, even though he fucking with his baby mama. His baby mama probably got a nigga. That's probably why he got to go, go fuck on her and then trying to come back to you because she probably got a whole nigga that, you know what I'm saying, that she dealing with, that, you know, he can't just be around her like that. You know what I'm saying? Niggas do be out here doing that shit, though, for real. He probably really don't have nowhere to go, and he probably needed your, your, your little career to stay. But it just didn't work out like that. So, because I, I don't understand where all of this anger is coming from. How did he expect for you to just fall in love with him within a short period of time like that? How did he expect for him from washing to turn into staying forever? That yeah. I just don't, I mean, I never, normally men don't, don't, don't fall in love that fast. It, it normally. That's that mental illness. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So definitely, he definitely has a mental problem. File for a twelve-year-old and and tell people that he thought she was sixteen, even if she was sixteen, you were still seventeen. I mean, his mind exactly. just don't function right. Exactly, and I just feel like you know he's one of those men that you know he really don't have nothing to live for. Really, like his whole rap sheet, his all it. All of the stuff that's on his, you know, under his name, under his belt, like I just feel like he's a he's a menace to society. Like he doesn't, yeah, you know, yeah. I don't think he's gonna be around too much longer. I don't see him being around too much longer. I just want to tell the lady, my my sister, I'm sorry. I don't know who kicked you. It could have been one of us. Like I was saying earlier. They was just doing so much because the situation was going on and we was just trying to keep everybody under control and managing. We just sorry, my sister, you know, always coming punking live. We not running the show. This is her life. We just trying to keep the situation under control because you have so many weirdos coming in. 
So I'm sorry, my sister. I just wanted to let you know that. Oh, that's so sweet. to be he wants me to stay around while he go fuck so when he said he going out at night he was going up to go lay with his baby mama and vice versa because either he would stay the night with me or he'd stay the day if he stay if if he get up early in the morning at seven he was leaving out going down there with his wife i mean his baby mama then he'd make his way back to my house at night or he used to leave out at night and make my make his way back to my house in the morning and he was up there fuck throwing dick up in her and throwing dick up in me and then get mad because I want to be separated cuz I don't want to I don't want to keep doing this cuz I don't I don't want to keep getting my ass whooped and getting screamed at cuz it was getting worse the man came in the house and did my face like this slapped me like that with a double slap like he start he started trying to put hands on me I grabbed my hammer and I saw him leave me the fuck alone Get the fuck out. When he seen I grabbed that hammer, he's like, bitch, you gonna regret this, bitch. You gonna regret this. You gonna regret this. He, he, he got his stuff. I was scared. I was like, you know what? At this point, I know it's about to be some shit. That's why I stayed on live. He did exactly like this. Like, he was going inside his, his, his pants to get his gun. But he was like, no. Nah. So, like, I guess he didn't want to do that. So, he went to my car and he knocked my shit out. Knocked my shit out. And then I cried on live. He said, I'll take you. I'll take you, babe. Now you're making me feel bad. I'll take you. I'll take you. They said, so you was going to take care. Y'all, please. Don't. Oh, Lord. Y'all, can I respond before y'all kick them? I, I I just want to, before y'all kick him, give me a moment to respond, please, y'all. He's old. Okay, whatever you do, please do not take him back in your house. He's old, please. my God. That man is dangerous. And please get a report, please, so they can have it on document. I am serious, Pumpkin. Yeah. I am. I am Please. too. I am too. Yeah, because th that's just not good. Something is definitely wrong. He showed his behavior shows a whole lot. And then he said in that car looking like a demon, like just demonish. And he probably can't even be around his kids. That's why he no, probably he around, he around them because he kept pocket. Well, he kept dialing my phone to see what I was gonna say to the baby. But I'm not that type of bitch. I'm not about to cuss your baby out. Right. Please. So, so he kept, he kept calling. The baby sounds so cute. He kept calling my phone with the baby. Yeah. But please don't let him in there. Please. He can't come back. All right. He cannot come back. I don't care what he tries to offer, how sweet he tries to talk. Don't let him back in there. I'm actually going to get ready to move. I'm trying, to, right, I'm trying to move by next month. All right. I'm about to take all my paperwork down and everything. I am about to move. I'm definitely about to move. I'm definitely about to move out of town. He definitely got mommy issues. He he definitely got the mommy issues. Yeah. Hey, Punky. Yeah. I remember he was talking about, he tried to say yeah. that was his baby mama. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it was consensual. Yeah. And she lied about her age. Yeah. No, he, he lied. He lied about that shit. He got hit with aggravated criminal sexual. Hold on a second. 
Hold on. He out here with aggravated criminal sexual abuse. So that means he beat Victim is under the age of 13. Wait, let me see that picture, Brand. Be the weapon, rape the girl. It wasn't no consensual, none of that shit. He lied. He was kept. Hold on. Where'd it go? Hold up. Oh, that's why he's so materialistic. Because he used to be dirty as hell. Mm-hmm. Same way somebody else. But uh, hold on, let me see this. Aggravated criminal sexual abuse. <clears throat> okay. There was criminal and aggravated sexual abuse. Okay. As a the judge can allow defendant probation. It becomes a felony if force is used or the victim is unable to give consent or understand the nature of the act or was unable to give knowing consent. Being found guilty of criminal sexual abuse will require the defendant to register as a sex offender. Aggravated sexual abuse, class F, class two, a felony sentence. It said it's become aggravated uh, criminal sexual abuse. If the weapon is used, bodily harm occurs, some shit like that. Yeah, he took that pussy. He beat that girl up before he raped her. Yeah. If he did become the baby mama, she can't become the baby mama after you motherfucking. You forced her ass to do some shit she didn't want to do. While her background up, she probably didn't want him to see. All you gotta do is no, he ain't do the do Google's it. image he search. But your background, all you gotta do is capture. You can capture background. Maybe the bitches. They gonna do it. I mean, if you got your shit back, get the fuck on. What the fuck is you so fresh? Exactly what I'm saying. She's at home. She's not at home, y'all. Like, I seen the background. Hotel first, sheets first and everything. They said I had another li nigga laid up in here with me, Brandon. That's what they said at first. Look, you need another nigga. Like, if you did, it's your pussy. You need somebody protection. Obviously, you see what your yissy is doing. Man. Obviously, your yissy got these niggas going crazy. They only hey. This nigga got so thirsty. This nigga got so thirsty. You came on the app. To potentially be good. Was... That shit crazy. And these motherfuckers, what does this app do? These motherfuckers on here, they embrace them they with sure. open arms. They show kid friends. They embrace his ass with open arms. But be the first mother. Hey. Tommy you. can't tell you something. Wait a minute, Brad. So you guarantee, you guarantee no if, ands, or buts going down to the place and falling up tomorrow. Just humiliated me. And all I did was be nice to this motherfucking bastard. And how dare him bring his black ugly ass on here and talk that shit talking about a bitch. Bitch, you got a 2000 and tw a 2014. Your rims cost more than that raggedy ass Benz truck that you got to go get washed every day. And got the nerd to shit your ugly ass over here and sit up there and lie like that. I thought I let your ass in my house, wash your clothes, and let you sleep good at night, bitch. And let you sleep good. Let you plug up that raggedy ass PTS4 to my 70 inch ass TV. After I wash them nasty, stinking ass clothes of yours, the ones that you value so fucking much, the ones that you had in the side of a kettle, a storage unit. And you got a lot of nerve 
bringing your nasty black ass up here, acting like I did something to you, acting like you didn't know your clothes was out there on the porch. You knew your clothes was on the porch yesterday when you see me bring them outside and you ran in your car and said, bitch, I'm going to kill you. Take my stuff back in. You just you just got mad because I didn't get up and get your stuff and bring it back to my house. I'm tired of you. You've been around me no more than three weeks and you make me feel like I've been with your ass for two years. You ain't even, I ain't even had a honeymoon stage with your black ugly ass. And you think life is about jewelry. And going to going going to this goddamn city sports buying this fake ass shit, acting like it's thousands of dollars. Nigga, fuck you. Mm. This nigga go buy an outfit and get dressed in the store and come out. Oh, seventy dollar ass outfit. And you gonna bring your ass over here and lie on me. Sound like he's gonna be at the next That's Airbnb function. And when the moment, the moment they, the moment they motherfucking neglect him and say, "Look, I don't think we we going we going too far," he gonna be ready to fuck all them up in that house. So happy hunts, bitch. I hope somebody, one of you bitches, get in that motherfucking inbox and get him some pussy, so he can get the fuck off me. One of y'all be the victim, bitch, please. I'm tired of had. Uh -huh. Don't drop the dime on me, bitch. Drop your address. Go link. For the first two <laughs> days, you spent a couple of dollars. <laughs> yes, I have oh, a so you guarantee to tomorrow I'm going to going take care of that? First thing tomorrow. Yes. Yes, I am. I am. And another thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take my paperwork down to Pangea. I'm also going to go get my car towed so I can get my car fixed. And what I'm going to have to do, I'm just going to have to walk and go get my car or get in a lift and go get my car when I need to go somewhere. But I'm not going to park my car on the block no more. My cousin got a house down the street. I'm going to just park my shit in her garage, pay up for storage for my car. Pay her. They said, follow on Tommy. Follow on Tommy while you at it. Get another card. Yeah, I think I should. Yeah, you need, yeah, 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 your I card. Even, uh, you guys, I, I get rid of that I'll card. Show, I grabbed the title because he said, he said, I'll sell your car for you. I grabbed my title. I think I am going to sell it. I'm going to get the window speaks and I'm going to sell it for like 3000 And whatever I get, I'm going to take it and give me another car with my bingo check with the money I get for this car. I'm just going to sell it. He bought. He bought. How many, how many windows bust windows out? Just, the, just the front one windows. and the. Yeah, okay, that ain't nothing but about probably about five hundred dollars. Complaining. Yeah, but uh. Victim of a crime conversation. What if you bought another car? Yeah, he busted the And the roof. Car. The roof busted out too. Yeah, I got four covers. You got uh, insurance on the car? And then he's saying, but I don't even want the car. Oh, they'll take care of all that like shit. I say, he know how the car look. And I'm not showing my car. I'm not doing nothing. But the nigga going to say, oh, yeah, you know, my baby mama used to destroy my shit. And so that's what he did. He likes, I guess his baby mama and him, they, they did that. They destroyed each other's stuff. So he thought it was cool. But nah, bro, you, you fucked up. You fucked up. It's time for me to move. Yeah, I wouldn't even that location. I'm going out. I'm going out. I'll get the fuck away. Get out of Dodge. And he, he didn't get rid of the car. Because if I got to go out of town to where I want to go to like Atlanta or somewhere and get in a domestic, domestic violence shelter and just put my dog in care with my, you know, my brother at and so I get my own stock, my little spot, that's what I do. But you didn't do nothing but help me, bro. Because you, you did all this and now I can, I can move on. <laughs> I can move on. 
so I can move on. They searching plates and shit, getting the info. They searching her plates. Why they searching her plates? Oh, just in general. Okay. But I, I tell y'all one thing. Shelters keep her protected, nothing though. Nothing else better to do. Nothing. Man, go by your income. She keep doing shit and trying to play victim. Like, I'm in there. Tommy K, you don't even fit. I'm going to tell you, Tommy K, you don't even know half of a bitch. I know somebody that got something on you, bitch, that's ready to beat your ass here in Chicago. Somebody that personally knows you. <laughs> and she said, yeah. she told so she really told the dude to go back and shoot her. Y'all yeah. said she told the dude to mm -hmm. go shoot her, shoot her, to shoot Pumpkin. No, because I, I cussed her out. Oh, because what you her cussed her out on live? Bitch, I don't got nothing to talk to you about. Why are you calling me? She all on live calling my phone. So like, hey, there's something about me. Pumpkin just don't fuck with. I don't fuck with you because you a dangerous ass old bitter bitch. You have no good in you. You the type of bitch, like like I said, you the type of bitch that'll set a bitch up to get killed. I'm about to take her to the hotel. For what? I don't need that. That be, that be y'all better watch that, huh? Ivy. So because, Ivy just. So because Punk can cuss you out on Ivy just a follower. Cuss you out on live. You want her to shot. That sloppy, pitiful bitch. That wants to be accepted. She wants a platform so bad. She'll do anything. That bitch like that bitch like a big retarded ass motherfucking greasy ass motherfucking slob. All she wants is to be loved. She'll do anything. 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 Motherfucker, motherfuckers say they got retarded they tart retardation on them. But with, but when my security was snapping out, whooping ass. That motherfucking bitch didn't get out that car. I tell you that. She ain't that motherfucking slow. She was... Ivy was mad because yeah. they were sending you cash apps. <laughs> and the crazy part about y'all. These people on this app, what the fuck? She's all over Tommy K. She reaching out and, and this broke ass bitch. How you gonna call somebody broke and you on a goddamn motherfucking bus coming back to Chicago? Your pussy wasn't even good enough that the nigga could take you to the airport and book you another flight. And let's not talk about how you went down there. You had to have your supporter to do your buy the pack of hair, come do your hair, bring the nails and put the nails on there. You want big, fat, sloppy, nasty bitch. If it wasn't for the supporters, you would have went down there with a Kool-Aid gel down ass ponytail with grease marks and black blemishes all over your motherfucking face. You got a lot of motherfucking nerve, but Ivy, you should, you soon will be humble. And if you keep it up, bitch, I promise you, bitch, I'm going to let it all, I'm going to let the cat out the bag, how pitiful of a mother you is, you pitiful bitch. I bet you the supporters will love to know what you got going on over there, bitch, so you can keep it the fuck cute before I get in my bag. They said P does be real. She's weird. And Tommy K and Ivy though won't about the dude. Girl, you need to get your goddamn spelling against who's weird. Who? I 
And now and now they want now they want the supporters to pay for every motherfucking thing after they come over there fucking with me, punky. <laughs> Let me just say this. Let me just say this. I know a lot of y'all is mad. And I, I know I know a lot of y'all is mad. But right now, I'm going through a serious thing, right? Bingo is bingo. But this real life, G, like, I'm going through some real life shit. And y'all getting mad at me because Brandon want to lie to me and, and, and tell me everything that's going on. I don't understand it. Oh my lady. Punkin right for you lying to him. I was trying to tell you. Um, in some apartments, I don't know if it's in your apartment, but some apartments I know down here where I'm at in your contract. They have an apartment for domestic violence or if someone is trying to harm you or something like that, they have a spare apartment that they can move you right in. My apartment always kept one and it's usually like, I always like, you know, ducked off. It's like, but you have to bring it up to them. It's in, sometimes it's in your lease. I've had several leases that, uh, about the mix of violence, if you're going through the mix of violence, that the landlord can help you. So you might want to ask before you just jump up and do a lot of crazy stuff. You need to ask the apartments first because it may be in your lease. Okay. Okay. You guys storyline everybody. So y'all gonna believe I storyline the nigga? Y'all really believe that? Knowing that this nigga sit on my lap and watch. So you really think I storyline this nigga, right? You really, you really think that, mama? You really think out of hearts of hearts that I storyline this man? Do you? Huh? Huh? Troll, do you really Troll, do you really think I storyline this man? This man watch my every move on social media. This man don't even go live on no platforms but over here. You play with him for real. Mocha Fox, how did I play with him? Hey, how you doing? Hey. What's up? Ooh, I love your braces. Thank you. How long you 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 had them braces now? Look like you got on the toddler hat. Ask me about my goddamn braces, bitch. Look like you still got a a, a a soft spot in the middle of your head. Fuck down. Oh, I'm so tired. I ain't like, are you not in a hotel? I'm not in a hotel. Can we see the white sheets? All right, down. Yeah, but it's time for you to go. You against me. Have a good one. Have a good one. Have a motherfucking good one. Shit. They got this arrows down here and, and motherfucking downtown is disgusting. Ugh.
How is she on my side when she said, can we see the white sheets on your bed? How is that on my side? Tell me. What did she say? So I understand it's late. You might be sleeping a little delirious. I am. But I never said, I want to see your white sheets. I could care less. I said, I can I can see them. Just agreeing that I can oh, you see you at the hotel. I'm sorry. Yeah. But I'm, I'm going to get out of here. You only got to kick me once. Good night, dear. Thank you, personal girl. I'm tired. And that, that ain't even your page, G. Like, you get mad. That ain't even your, that ain't even your apartment. That's your apartment page. But that's fine. I know this bitches always get mad at bitches when it's a mistake. But another nigga can kick you out. You'll laugh that shit out. I'm tired. It's been a long motherfucking day. All right. It was a mistake. You can clearly look at me and tell that I'm exhausted. And everybody know that I don't, I don't, I can't why are you taking it so personal? Why? And that ain't even your real page. You act like I, I knew who that the fuck that was on that page. Like, y'all bitches in this lives and these lives, y'all be so motherfucking sensitive. How was I was the fuck supposed to know that was you on your other page? Talk about you, you it, good night, love. You don't got nothing but to kick me out one time. Why are you on your troll page and you on your regular page? That's crazy. Like, that's crazy. The fuck? <clears throat> Fuck, I was finna say, get you some rest, boo. Because it has been a long day. It's about to go on to um, 5 o'clock. Go ahead and get your rest. But I can't even cut the camera off. I'm so, I'm scared. Like, I don't even like being in hotels. So, I, I just want to sit here into the daylight. And I get ready to go. Because, like, I be scared of these hotel rooms. Don't say it. Yeah, I understand. But if you, like, plug your phone up, you can still probably still be on live. Or, or go to a switch to an audio live. Yeah, audio panel. Yeah, switch to an audio panel. Okay. Mm-hmm. I am. I am about to go to sleep. Okay. Yeah, switch to an audio panel. Okay. Yeah. Y'all about to get ready for bed. I'm about to put my pajamas on. I'm going to my wig up.
Thank you, Lord. I shall love that Nancy. That Nancy ass nigga got that motherfucking car wash. I shouldn't ever strike no conversation with that man. I should have left him alone. And how I feel about Ivy and I mean, I hate them bitches. I pray to God that something bad tragically happens to them. I really do. They want they want to make my trauma comedy and content for them. Like y'all just gonna insert yourself in my business, in my personal life. Y'all just gonna insert yourself, like you know. And then Ivy sitting up there telling the motherfucker I got AIDS. Ivy, you fucking dick in Atlanta, raw bitch. You letting your you letting your sixteen year old daughter lay up and get fucked by a twenty one year old. You let your sixteen year old daughter that ain't even graduated out of high school go live with a nigga G. You a trifling bitch and got your big burly manly booker T ass up there trying to talk about twenty one and trying to you trying to get me killed, bitch. Y'all sitting up there telling that man that I got AIDS. You you really gonna sit up there and tell that man I got AIDS? Ivy, your face look disgusting, bitch. You got legions on your skin. And you got a lot of motherfucking nerves sitting your big nasty ass up there. Tonight I heard she got AIDS. Ivy, open up your mantra. I bet you you don't got a mantra. I bet you you don't. The nigga I took you to go pick up will drop you off. That nigga was filthy. That nigga socks were supposed to be white. They was gray. That nigga looked so dingy and dirty. And you took him home and his socks stink. You got a lot of motherfucking nerve. And then you met a nigga on Kendra Dresha. Because then nobody wants you in Chicago. Then nobody want to fuck with your big nasty ass in Chicago. You go take a Greyhound trip or a trip to go down to Atlanta to go get dick the fuck down and sent back with nothing. Even when they stopped, bitch, you couldn't even get no motherfucking bottle of water. And you got your big nasty, ugly, nasty, sweaty ass up there trying to call somebody broke. You got to have a woman off this app come and braid your hair for free and do your nails for free. You big nasty ass bitch. And you got a lot of nerve. And then Tommy K, you said your big nasty ass leave it the beaver motherfucking ass up there calling somebody ugly. Girl Tommy K, you walk like a duck bitch. You little at the bottom and your feet point out on each direction and you walk like a motherfucking penguin. You ain't got no neck. Your nose is big as fuck. Your teeth is brown, bitch. You around here acting like you that girl and you will not go sit in a dentist's office to get your teeth white. Why? Why is that? Why is that? Then you got a lot of nerves about what you was going to do. Tommy Cash, bitch, when you pulled up before my security walked up, I told your ass to get out the car and what, what y'all was going to do. Y'all pulled, you and Ivy, big, nasty asses pulled up there to try to do, do some shit and didn't even motherfucking do it. And then you making these threats talking about what you going to do. Tommy K, I hate you so motherfucking bad, bitch. When I see you, how it's on sight. And I swear to God on my soul, God can kill me now. I'm fucking your face up, bitch. I swear to God I am. I'm going to cross your shit with a razor. And ain't nothing. God can't even stop me from doing what I want to do to you. I swear to God I am. I'm going to cross your shit. Right here. I'm going to cross your shit. Because we already know Ivy is a big, dumb, dumb. Ivy is a big, fat, funky, dumb bitch that follow up behind anybody. That bitch Ivy can't even stand up straight. That bitch trips and fall over her own feet. 
That's a big, fat, sloppy. I walked in that bitch. You got the nerve to say somebody got AIDS, bitch. I walked in your house. Your house smell like a motherfucking kitty box, bitch. That nasty-ass house of yours. Bitch, your furniture was sunk in. That look like a generation of uh, five years of past this shit now in ass furniture. And you got your bitch. My cousin came over there and danced on your floor. That motherfucker looked like she was outside mud wrestling, bitch. You trifling, bitch. So while you sitting up there worried about what the fuck I got going on in my life, bitch, Ivy, while you traveling, travel to the store and get some goddamn soap. Clean that nasty, filthy ass floor of yours. That bathroom was filthy, bitch. I felt like I was outside using it goddamn gas station bathroom. I went into gas station bathrooms that are way cleaner than your bathroom, bitch. I pissed all over your floor because I didn't want to sit on your toilet. I pissed all over your motherfucking floor, bitch. I stood up over your toilet. I pissed everywhere in your bathroom, bitch. I was refusing to let a drop of that nasty toilet water touch my legs. You trifling bitch. And you send your big, fat, funky, nasty ass over there talking about somebody got AIDS. Girl, you do more dicks than dicks can do dicks, bitch. Every time we see Ivy, you goes on the Kendra D show. Every time you turn around, you make a total fool of yourself, bitch. You a big, fat, funky, nasty bitch. And you be thinking this shit cute. They talked about you like a dog. And the only thing a nigga want to meet you off the Kendra G show because you made yourself look pitiful. All they want to do is fuck. They want their dick wet. And you look like a man. So that's why the men in Atlanta want to fuck you. You look like a big ass nigga. You ain't even built right, bitch. You got a motherfucking stomach hanging over that your ass ain't even there, bitch. You so fucking. You and Tommy K. Both of you bitches are fat, sloppy, with big ass. Y'all are so unattractive. It don't make no sense. I have never seen two ugly bitches kick it. It always got to be a positive and a negative. You two ugly assholes running around Chicago trying to kick it with one another. The big, the big nose crew with the bad body built bitches. You hoes are running. You hoes are running around here acting as if y'all are cute. Y'all some ugly bitches. Every time this hoe go out of town, it got to be funded by the app. Ivy. That, bi that bitch can't go to Kankakee without, all right, y'all, I'm going to go to Kankakee, y'all. We're going to do a raffle. All right. I need to go out of town. Y'all know the vibe. Y'all know the You want to be 21 so bad that it don't make no sense. You try to steal a whole goddamn shit that 21 do. And you still can't get it down pat. That's why you got to continue to chase up in my ass. Because they look at you like a big, fat, sloppy, pitiful, pathetic ass bitch. You can't even keep up the 21 act too long. You a mother of two and you out here on the scooter. Day in and day out. And that dropped. So you got to get in. Y'all had to, to, to get in the car together to run up on what the fuck I had going on. And you sitting over there talking about, I got, you had your phone out the window putting it in that man's face. Y'all are tagging ass that man. Y'all call him a rent a cop. This mother, you, Ivy, you call that man a bitch. This bitch ain't shit. This fake ass security guard. Y'all think y'all just gonna pull up to somebody's shit, talk crazy, and think that it's supposed to be all good. Y'all better be glad that motherfucker didn't grab a pew pew and off both of you bitches. But I promise you, I promise you, I swear to God on my soul, God can kill me now. Y'all come back over where I'm at, y'all going to get everything y'all looking for. And before y'all leave out the door, tell y'all motherfucking kids, y'all husbands, or whoever. I love y'all, but I need to do it for the last. Because I promise y'all, y'all going to get smoked on the last. Straight like that. Y'all going to lose everything. Y'all going to lose everything. And Dante is too. Y'all gonna lose 
everything. And I mean what I say, bitch. And I, I ain't talking just because I got lips. I'm on some real life, real shit with you all. Y'all gonna lose everything. Trying to chase clout. And then, y'all already know I said I, I didn't want to be around y'all. I said, I clearly said, I don't want to be around y'all. Y'all just sat over there and lied on me talking about I was popping my pussy and came through the house with no leggings, had leggings shut all up in my pussy and my ass, and I was popping it all on the niggas. It was on the KLB and keeping the house. Y'all just sat over there trying to lie on my name, and then when some shit go on in my life, y'all think I'm about to call the same bitches that sat over there and tried to motherfucking tell a retarded ass half blind ass nigga that it was alright to touch me. What do I look like calling you ugly bitches to do shit? Cause Ivy, you can't fight sis. You can't. Only reason why motherfuckers think you can fight is because they keep pump you up and tell you how big you are. But you a big soft spineless ass bitch. You a spineless ass hoe. And now y'all about to be on live begging for begging for shit that y'all put yourself in. And I put myself in. Y'all don't know how to leave well enough to fuck alone. Y'all think this nigga dealing with a full deck? This nigga like a fucking lifetime move. He gonna turn on all y'all. Y'all think this nigga cool? Oh, y'all think this nigga cool? Y'all think this nigga, this nigga will turn on you bitches. Y'all sitting up there. I thought he was a joke. Y'all sitting up there playing with this man. This man is crazy. This man is dealing with social anxiety. This man is dealing with mommy issues. This man is dealing with, with, with all type of shit. His family don't even fuck with him. His family don't even fuck with him. And y'all sitting up here thinking it's a joke. Ah, uh, because y'all think being one of the mean girls is going to cause, it's, it's going to pay because you a mean girl. But I tell you, ain't no man, ain't no woman, ain't no child bigger than God. And let me tell y'all something. It's taking everything in me not to go give no motherfucking revenge. Because Mr. Dante, you don't even know what a can of ass whooping you open while you sitting up in that car. Because, baby, I know everything about you. I took pictures of everything. So why you think you're going to fuck my shit up and why you think I'm going to be lacking? Baby, you better watch yourself in them gas stations, boo. You better watch yourself. You better watch yourself. You better watch yourself, bro. And you came on the right place. I'm glad you over here. Welcome. Because people get over here, they get addicted to the attention. And you ain't got a fucking mammy. So you're going to get addicted to it. In the moment of truth, bitch, I'm going to catch you lacking. You ugly black ass bitch. Yeah, your ugly ass a chance. You nasty dick ass bitch. Your dick ain't even circumcised, bitch. You got a limp dick. You got a lot of nerve. You got a limp dick. You pull that skin back. That shit smell like motherfucking... That shit smell like fucking death, bitch. Why you got all this money? Go get your dick circumcised, Dante. That's why your ass around here fucking like that. Cause that dick ain't right. That dick ain't circumcised. Go get go get that motherfucker cut. Get all that extra meat off of it. That way you can feel pussy more. That way you don't know that that way you don't have to worry about. Can you feel it or not, bitch? Go get your dick circumcised. That's what you do. While you running around here lying on me and shit. Go get your dick circumcised. While you about to go get your foot broke, bitch. Go get your dick broke. Go go get that motherfucker worked on. That's what you do. That's what you do. Go get your dick worked on. I ain't never in my life this nigga going bed to bed. Pillow to post. 
He want to go from his wife to his baby mama to me. He want, bitch, he want to, he want to revolve and dump. And you don't stand that motherfucking tall. And you're black and you ugly. All you can do is throw some clothes on and think you look good, but you ugly as shit. I'm sitting up there trying to make a little ugly nigga look, feel good about this stuff, bitch. You wonder why I didn't want you, bitch, because you ugly. Fuck, I walk, I'm, I'm black as shit. Fuck, I look like walking around a nigga that's blacker than me, bitch. We don't match. I don't fuck on black ass niggas. Bitch. I tried. I didn't like it, bitch. I didn't want to fuck on you. Can't make me fuck you. Not make me fuck you. I did not like you. Got the nerve to try to make a motherfucker. You got the nerve to try to force the motherfucker. I'm about to. So the motherfucker said I had a nigga with me. That nigga snapped. I'm about to come over to your house. Yeah, nigga, you gonna meet the right motherfucking match. And no shades. You gonna meet the, you. You gonna fuck around thinking you about to be a creep late night, bitch. That shit you about to fire up about to be fired right the fuck back. And she about to come two ways. Your way, my way. Your ass about to catch all this smoke. You sitting up thinking, motherfucker. You sitting up thinking, motherfucker, weak. Because the motherfucker didn't want to get out on your black, decrepit ass. You black, ugly bitch. Can't stand you. I wish like hell. I wish, I wish like Hell, I would have never met you, bitch. You're ugly. Look like a Mississippi pimp, bitch. You ugly as shit. You got your nerve walking your ugly ass around, acting like you that motherfucking nigga. That's why you don't like rejects because you ugly as shit. You know you ugly. Ugly niggas don't like to hear no. Not at all. Ugly niggas, they don't, they don't like, they don't like rejection. They don't, they don't like it. Like you around that slinging dick like a jungle rat. Bitch, you dropping dick every night or something. And you gonna get you got the nerve to get mad when you feel like I'm getting dick dropped in me. How the fuck does that work? Bitch, I don't know you like that. I do not know you like that. For you to get mad because I'm getting some dick dropped in me. How how do you get mad? The mama they said, punk, you got a nigga with you. I'm on my way over to your house, bitch. I'm on my way. I'm on my you, you. Bitch, I ain't never in my life seen no shit like this. And then, and then they say, you say you love her. I don't love her. Well, if you don't love her, then bitch, you got all your clothes. What is you tripping for? What are you tripping for? What, what's, what's your major malfunction, bitch? What's your major malfunction? Like, what's his major malfunction? Yeah. On a panel, like, you really showing that you butt fucked her. You supposed to be a gangster. You supposed to be a, you supposed to be a part of Larry Kids. But no shade, you showing a real bitch. You a real bitch. You probably was getting fucked in the inside. GDs, yeah, that's one thing in y'all law. If y'all do more than five years, y'all get to suck dick and get fucked. So you, you probably got you probably got your ass tossed and fucked on and shit like that. So that's why your ass act like a bitch in real life. Nigga used to that nigga used to go outside and say he going to work. Oh my god, y'all! He used to put on some pants and his ass used to be hanging out. The nigga came to my house one day, y'all, with his pants coming down, drawers ripped off and shit. Like what the fuck is you doing out there? I'm like, what, like, I'm thinking myself, like, what is he out there doing? 
And I'm pretty sure that ain't no rule that Larry made up. That That's some new shit that they made up. That nigga was in jail doing dick. At just like a woman. Like a scorned woman. You get to go fuck and suck anything you want to suck, bitch. And then got the nerve to have your black ugly ass up there trying to dictate to me who the fuck I can fuck off. How you going to do that? So, so you, you better move. You better move. You better move. That shit crazy. That shit crazy. And this how weird they fucking ass is. They went and turned on the motherfucker quick. Tommy K got a picture on her Twitter of the niggas, um, of the nigga fucking mugshot with son of a bitch across his, across his face. So first of all, y'all entertaining the nigga. Now all of a sudden, Tommy K, you didn't turn on the nigga. That's what they do. Say. And fucking weird. They all do that. They all do that. They all do it. Burnt on a nigga because we went over there telling her, yeah, Pastor done already came out of his mouth and made it known, but you was wrong and you got whatever you went over there looking for. Ain't no way in the hell you was supposed to have killed your ass over there to be nosy, bitch. That's what you get. You lucky your head ain't get busted to the white meat. Fuck is wrong with you? Be safe, pump. Facts. If he said that, that's facts. If he said that, that's facts. And what I don't understand is like, Keith want me to sit over there and let them sit there and lie on me and do all this crazy shit. And Tommy K making it like, oh, she was just so innocent. Like, I told that bitch, leave me alone. Like, why you, why you constantly trying to, it's like, just assert yourself in my shit. Like, bitch, I don't fuck with you. You're not a friend. I don't know you, bitch. And when I tread, when I did try to tread lightly with you, bitch, you still wanted to go. Like, and then when something go on in my life, you want to come over there not to be helpful, not to be, not to be a good Judy, but to be messy. But you could go lie to my head, cause you know I took her to the, I took her to the goddamn uh the the Cibris and girl, Chloe and I like I don't want all that. I don't need nobody sitting around me trying to dog me and drag me right now. I don't. It's hard enough to stay strong and try to deal with this shit on my own and to have two retarded, drunk-ass, fat-ass, ugly-ass bitches trying to insert them big-ass noses in my business for what? Ivy, did I go down there to Atlanta with you and your nigga and insert myself? Tommy, when you and Carrie get into it, do I run to your house and assert myself? Because your address is out there on the internet as well, boo. Do I? No, I don't. So why did y'all think it was comfortable to pull up on me knowing that this man just bust every window in my car? Why? Then on top of it, y'all didn't even let me get all the way across the goddamn bridge before y'all was up in my car, opening up my door. Using my shit all up in my... Why is y'all in my car? Why are y'all in my... Look, y'all, we went over there to the car. Why is y'all in my car? Tommy K blowing my phone up today. I'm telling her, I don't want to talk to you. Stop calling me. Y'all just, y'all, like, I don't understand a bunch of black, ignorant-ass niggas that don't know how to accept no from another grown motherfucker. Y'all, y'all, if y'all spend so much time on trying to assert yourself on grown folks' business, y'all will be knowing what the fuck y'all kids and grandkids are doing around now. 
Y'all are so busy and worried about the next grown bitch business that it don't make no sense. That told you, I don't like you. Leave me alone. I don't like you. You said it on your life. Pucky don't fuck with me on no type of circumstances. So why would y'all pull up and think it was a joke? Why? You said it on live. I don't fuck with you. So why would you pull up and do that? I don't understand that. That, that, that be the weird shit for me. I mean, blowing my phone down, y'all, when I'm in a restaurant trying to order some food. Blowing my phone down. Blowing it down. And it's like, it's like, we not in the same circle. Y'all are giving me vibes like this. And I'm not being funny. Y'all are giving me vibes like this. Like, y'all want me to hang with y'all because y'all y'all trying to set me the fuck up. Y'all giving me these, these type of vibes. Like, no shade. These, these are the vibes that y'all giving me. Y'all giving me, y'all want to be a friend of me to set me up to my death. This is what y'all giving me. See these beautiful women that lost their life because they hung out with bitches like y'all. This is why they lost their life. Fucking around with bitches like y'all. This is These are the type of vibes that Ivy and Tommy K give out. Chicago rat ass hoes that want to hang with somebody that got something going on. But they want to set me up so bad that it's killing them. This is, these are the type of bitches. These are the type of bitches that these young women hung around thinking that they was their friend. But the whole while the bitches was plotting against them because they was beautiful. They have shit going on. Tommy K are them type of friends that they have said they have you on a picture like this. Them the hoes you got to watch out for. Bitches like Tommy K and Ivy. You you gotta watch out for bitches like that. Bitches don't mean you no good. And then, and then, and then y'all sitting up there talking to a nigga that clearly see that y'all know he still like me. Everything y'all said, he wasn't even laughing at y'all bitches. He sitting up there looking at you hoes. He didn't laugh. He didn't crack a joke. He just said that he looked. Y'all asked him about my pussy. Did you fuck around? How was the pussy? Did she suck your dick? That's weird. Y'all so worried about the entanglement of my bedroom action than avert of the action of this man. Y'all so worried about, did he fuck me raw? Was the pussy good? Did I suck his dick? What was going on with between the legs? Did you see the pussy? I have never seen a bunch of grown women so obsessed with another woman's womb before. Like, why are y'all so obsessed? I have never in my life seen it. And then y'all get mad. Like, I'm not trying to go on no trips with you bitches. I'm not trying to go bar hop with you hoes. I don't like you, Ivy. And I don't like you, Tommy K. I don't like y'all. You cannot force me to be in y'all circle. You cannot force me to fucking talk to you bitches. You cannot force me. I don't like you bitches. I real life don't like y'all. I swear to God on my soul. I don't like y'all. I think y'all are the epitome of bottom feeders. I don't like you bitches. Y'all the type of bitches would do. I you I I know you the type of you would do anything. You were so spiteful and jealous. You I let you come right on my back and live in my Airbnb, and you had the nerve to sit up in that motherfucking Airbnb and start all that motherfucking chaos, bitch. I found out every fucking shit you was going back doing. You couldn't wait to go back to the back and and be like getting them people ill. And Ivy, your views start falling because you ain't around me. Y'all just got y'all just got to sit on my titties in some type of way. Y'all just got to be around me some type of way. Good or bad, y'all just want to be around. 
Ivy, you will never get a chance to come fuck with me again, bitch. I swear to God. Never. Tommy K, you will never. Bitch, I wouldn't even speak to you if I seen you at a fucking dog fight, bitch. I hate you nasty ass, nasty bottom feeding ass bitches. That's why Ivy and Tommy K are the same type of bitches. Y'all got to fuck for a place to stay. Tommy K, you are old ass bitch. You had to come and come over into another woman's motherfucking foundation. You wasn't even woman enough to get that nigga to move up out that house, bitch. You had to go lay your fat, ugly, big nose, cigarette smoking ass over there on that other woman name and lay your fat, nasty ass up there, bitch. If it, for, if it wasn't for you sucking Keith dick, bitch, you wouldn't have been nowhere. Nowhere. Don't nobody like you, for real. Don't nobody like you, Tommy K. Don't nobody like you, bitch. I'm here to tell you. Don't nobody like you, Tommy K. You are ugly. You, you ugly inside and out. Don't nobody like that. Can't nobody stand a bitch that's ugly as shit and act ugly on the inside. That's the most turn off situation you can see. You see a bitch ugly on the outside and on the inside. Most ugly bitches be cute on the inside and ugly on the outside. But you ugly on the inside and the outside. And got the nerve to be seeing your big nose. Bitch, you can't even wipe your ass right talking about what you gonna do when you see somebody. Well, Tommy K, I'm gonna make sure I drop my low. I'm gonna make sure I drop my location for you to pull up. I am. And I swear to God, though, bitch, you better you better stay where you at because I promise you, bitch, anything come your way, bitch, I'ma let it come. I'ma let I'ma let a motherfucker get down on you, bitch. I'ma show you what it's about. I am. I'ma let a motherfucker do you dirty, bitch. I'ma end your whole career. I'ma Dante your ass, bitch. I'm I'ma Dante you. We gonna Dante Tommy Cat. We we gonna we 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 gonna Dante you. Since y'all, since y'all want to be all in my business so bad. Since, since, since y'all are so anxious and eager to see what punking got going on. This bitch so thirsty, she want to go down to the courtroom with him. Why you so eager to want to go down to a courtroom with a psycho bitch? You should be eager to put Carrie big fat funky ass up in a car and go talk to a bank and try to finance that motherfucking house bitch because that motherfucker under foreclosed. So why you motherfucking want to ride around with Dante to go motherfucking press charges? You need to be taking Carrie to go to the bank to see if he can get a lien to get put on this motherfucking house bitch. Y'all hoes be worried about the wrong motherfucking thing. And these are facts, bitch. <laughs> and these are facts. Y'all be, y'all be, y'all be, y'all be want to ride around and do the wrong shit. I'm going with you and go press charges on the bitch. I go with ya. I do this with you. Shut your slow ass up, bitch. You can't even hardly talk right, bitch. Oh, fat ass bitch. I hate you. You are never. When I say Tommy K, bitch, you will never, ever get an opportunity to be around me to do a motherfucking thing, bitch. I hope you smoke your cigarettes to your heart bust, bitch. I hope your lung collapse, you nasty bitch. Has your fat, nasty, bad wig wearing ass up that look like you put motherfucking blue magic in that goddamn wig, bitch. You had your motherfucking curls tighter than Easter Sunday, bitch. And it's so crazy because I just said, I'm going to go get a sad part with some curls. And here this bitch go with a sad part is for curls. I'm like, damn, these, like, I motivate all the bitches, don't I? Don't I motivate these hoes? I just said on live when I called Freddie. I said, Freddie, can you do me a sad part with some curls? And Tommy K go get her hair done like that today. Girl, I'm talking about these hoes. Stay watch.
came up here to say this on um, pumpkin. Yeah. So whenever you about to, um, but make sure you get everything that you need to um, get done today. Like Brandon was telling you, make sure you go ahead and do all you need to do today, pumpkin. Don't forget, okay? Going to the places and all that stuff. Don't forget, please don't forget, because I'm about to go ahead and go to sleep. So um, okay. and don't forget to switch to an audio panel if you want to stay online. I'm about to do that now. Okay, because I'm about to go ahead and go to sleep, boo. Good night, stay girl. safe. All right, stay safe out here, boo. Okay. Yes, sir. I will. We'll talk to you today. Okay. Yes, we'll talk to you today. Okay. You found my way. I want to take her to the hotel for what? So you could go live and tell where I'm at. And I'll say, you would never get it. I swear to God on my side, you would never get a chance on God's green earth. You bitch ass nigga, you. You are, I don't give a fuck what the threats you throwing. I don't give a fuck what you do to that apartment, bitch. I don't care what you do to that car. Because God is telling me it's just time to get another one. I don't care. You would never get a chance to be in my presence again. Ever in life. Ever. You would never get a chance. Not only not only did you break my stuff, but then you come on social media to humiliate me. All because I put your clothes on a porch that you got. You got every sock, every draw. If you, I even bought I even bought your ass the deodorant and you got it. But you know what though, Dante? You might have did a lot of fucked up shit to a lot of people, but you ain't never fucked over a God's child. And I tell you this, and I'm not here to be funny with you. Everything you did, you so reap. 10 times 4. And after I get through and I settle down, I promise you, I'm going to put a curse on you that that ain't nobody going to be able to break it. I'm going to put a curse on your whole generation. I can't wait to go to the witch doctor. I'm going to do you so motherfucking dirty. Everything you touch will crumble. I tell you, 2023 will be a bad year for you. Will be a bad year for you. Everything you will touch gonna crumble. I promise you, bitch. Every time you be on my line, bitch, you gonna hear bells ring. Babe, I'ma put a curse. I'ma put a curse on you. That the past is not gonna be able to get up off you. I'ma put it on your whole bloodline. But they didn't tell you that. They want to lie to you and say I got AIDS and shit like that. But they didn't tell you I practice black magic. That's what they didn't put. That's what they didn't give you. But I'm a, I'm, I promise you, I'm going to put a curse on you on your whole bloodline, bitch. Baby. After I get through with you, I'm going to have you bowing. Your, I'm going to have you bowing. And your tongue will ask God for help after I get through. And the same hand you raise to God will be the same hand you're going to have to ask God for help. I promise you, I'm going to make you suffer. My baby. Oh, no. oh. You left your toothbrush in my house. You fucked up, my boy. That's all I need. You fucked up. You fuck you fucked up the church's money. I got your toothbrush. And I got a piece of your hair. You fucked up. I got you though. That's all I need. I don't even need your hair. All I need is your toothbrush, your toothbrush bristle. And bitch, I'ma put a spell on you that God ain't gonna be able to take away. I promise you I am. I'm going to do you dirty, bitch. I'm going to do you dirty. I promise that by, by next week, 
Your whole world about to be flipped upside down. I'm going to have you so fucked up. Your life going to be in shambles, bitch, that you ain't going to even think about me. And I promise you, you think your car going to run good? I'm going to make sure, bitch, you you going to see. You going to see. You definitely about to see. You about to see. I'm about to work. I'm about to work on your ass. I'm about to work. I'm about to work. Oh, there you go. My pumpkin, my don't, kick, don't kick her down, pumpkin. Go ahead, it's about. Mama. Please, mommy. Please. Baby, please listen to me. Okay, go ahead. Pumpkin. What? I'm here. Pumpkin? Yes. Okay. I, I asked you because I was trying to find a way in my life, baby, to try to... I, I need you to call me off this thing right here. But the one thing that I am going to say to you, okay? God is our revenge. Not us, baby. No matter whatever you feel about that brother, you pray for that brother and keep it to move him. Sister, all I need you to do is allow that to pass so you can receive the blessings that God got for you. Sister, you can't hold on to that. Because if you hold on to that, he's holding you down. He's got that weight mm -hmm. bonding you. So you rebuke that in the name of Jesus, sis. And you walk yes. away from that shit. Are you teacher reach on that? Bring up, bring up. Man, that motherfucker. I'm going to that shit up off of you. That's it. Protection. God got that, sis. You got to allow God to do it. Mm -hmm. Don't allow him that strike on you, sis. We rebuke that in the name of Jesus. I wouldn't give a fuck what you practice. What you ain't going to practice is nothing but what God give you. And that's peace, love, and prosperity. You going to shine. You going to smile. Show that beautiful ass smile, that beautiful ass eyes you got. And you going to watch these other motherfuckers that keep on hating on you. But you going to keep on praying for them motherfuckers. And you going to walk away from that, sis. No lie, no shade. So it was meant for me to come back this time. Amen. I told you each day I'm going to lay with you, sis. I'm laying with you for a reason. Because God sent me over to you, my baby. You ain't got to hold on to that hurt. He gave too many people your hurt to share with you. So he walking with you, baby. He didn't walk away from you. He gave you enough to keep you walking. He didn't give you nothing to hold you back for somebody to bring harm up to you. He just let you see the people that is scatless and not doing the good to you. Yeah. He wants you to pray for them. That's it, baby. So you can get the victory out of this. So you can keep showing that beautiful smile you got, sis. So you can keep on loving and rubbing that, that cat like you do. And that dog. Come on, sis. We ain't going to do that. We ain't going to do that. You already got enough people to hold that bond for you. That ain't your battle, sweetheart. You let that go and let God handle his business. That's yes. what we're going to do, my baby. You're going to get some rest. You're going to go to this audio thing right here. You ain't going to ever. you speaking too much. And anyway, you don't let your left hand. And you don't do that, sis. You don't let your right and your left know what's going on. A closed mouth is the best sound mouth in the world, sir. Yes. You don't know how a motherfucker gonna come at you. You don't tell a motherfucker what you gonna do. Uh-uh, baby. Dust that shit off. Scrape that shit from that front door. Sweep that bitch out the door. And tell God nothing but peace and victory shall come upon you. Yes. So you can walk them motherfuckers off, sis. No lie, my baby. I ain't stayed up here to be on this app for the... God called me to you, sis. You were my calling. No lie, baby. At 6 o'clock in the morning, when I do do prayer, baby, Pumpkin is going on there. And Pumpkin, I'm going to show you what God is going to show you, what he has for you.
Not all the time that the enemy comes, because sometimes God gives us lessons so we can learn. We have to learn from our mistakes for sometimes moving too fast. Sometimes we want mm -hmm. something we want God to give us. God don't come in a thick of that like that, sis. We was just moving too fast. Yes. No, 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 say. I feel I feel you. Everybody wants some love. I do too, sis. I adopted a, a guy in Georgia, my baby. I did living care for three and a half years. I left South Carolina and went to Georgia. I'm originally from Michigan. So I put this brother in my life in 2016, and I've been taking care of this man ever since. If you could have told me that I was going to be taking care of a brother, a sister friend, daughter. I couldn't have never told you no shit like that. I ain't got no kids, but God gave me my son. This man will be a son to me all my life. Tomorrow on Thanksgiving, his birthday, 37 years. I'm just trying to show you my son. You don't only want to do shit like that. God is just trying to show you. That's what I'm going to say to you. Put out a new place, a new car. Come on, sis. You don't need that nigga misery shit. Girl, bye. Get a deal door. Check off the next motherfucker. Keep on living, sis. Don't let that motherfucker think he ever got the best for you. You feel me? Yeah. And I hope, little baby, you are listening to me. I oh. hope this time, baby, when you switch over to auto, that you are ready to relax in peace, though. That's what you ask God to bring your peace. Your clarity. Come on, sir. It's too many people. Remember I told you how much world is going on? you taking us away from here. And sometimes when we do something on somebody else, that be the best we lie for our damn stuff. So you got to be careful when we have our minds. Okay? Mm -hmm. For real. I didn't get to be 58 for nothing, okay, my baby? I want you to be around 58 and counting. And by that time, I know I'll probably have been made it home to heaven. But I'm just saying to you, my baby, you the one God want me to reach. I said to you over and over, I'm not going to go to sleep until you rest. So see, my baby, see how God put you in my heart? Yeah. So that's what he wants you to know. It's okay. Let it go, he said. Let them go. It's not worth your time. You remember when the man came on, he said, but she got a beautiful soul. She got a beautiful spirit. That's what God see, baby. The beauty that's in you. Don't allow nobody to rob and steal and kill. They don't deserve that. Yeah. Thank okay, you, my baby. Yes, and you're going to get more. This is just the beginning, sis. Mm -hmm. Watch the moat come in for you. And sometimes you ain't going to even have to ask. Watch how that cash app keep going off. All you got to do is be a believer. Be a believer. First of all, tell it to God. And he gives you any and everything that you deserve and desire. He ain't going to leave us. He just wants you to be a believer in him, though, okay? Okay. Now, my little baby, please start your auto, and I'm still gonna be right here for you, my And I'm gonna tell you how God gonna keep blessing you, okay? Yes, ma'am. But you gotta be a candidate of God, okay? Yes, ma'am. Watch the door you show me, and watch the doors that I that you have already told me for you. You got them coming. All you gotta do is just get through this little hurdle. That's it, baby. Okay? You got to do what this man said. You got to get all your paperwork together, all your T's and all your I's. You ain't got to tell a bitch what they got coming to them. Fuck them bitches. They, they on your heel. You ain't on theirs. Keep shining, um, Pumpkin. Keep shining, baby, okay? Yeah. Let's go to the auto now, okay?
Oh, I have all the. Good morning, Papa. Good morning. And good morning, babies. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Zaza mm. okay. muted me for no reason. And he over there talking about some amen, amen, just because I don't agree. I get it. The ID number oh, sound like oh, a crackhead. You a crackhead. You talk about motherfuckers and talk about you praying. Girl, Bob. Don't preach, dude. Bitch, you got muted for a fucking reason, bitch. You was trying to be funny in the comments. I don't mute and kick bitches for no fucking reason. They crazy, ain't them? Mm. So, did Jackie's tablet cut off? The Jackie Tablet family go off yarn. For pumpkin sister queen, honey, the um, kid, that um, lady that was up here up on the um, box. I think that she go right there, Miss Queen Kim. Sister Queen, honey, don't kick um Miss Kim Boo. Miss Kim, get you can get back up here. <laughs> um her num her ID number was eight seven six eight one five seven five five but she um I think she made another account. Um, Miss Kim, if you still in the comments, put it on comment down. Pumpkin. Hmm. You can yeah. add Miss Kim back. Which yeah. If you can add her to the um audio. Miss Kim, where you at? She got kids. Oh, here she gone. Yeah, she was that ID number. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> said Miss Kim. <laughs> she said, yes, my baby. I see, I just sent her a request. Yeah. Yeah, Miss Kim, Sister Queen Honey came in later on. She don't really don't know what happened, so Miss Kim, 
Miss Kim accept the request. I think the two. I think that. Miss Kim, if you're still in the um the live, accept accept the request. Oh, I know this water tastes good as fuck right now. Okay, baby. It's Karen. Um, don't need that. It's okay. Like, <laughs> let me get off this one. Uh, I hear myself. I go. So you got an echo, boo. Exit out the um, live off your other phone. The phone. Yes, sir. I'm trying. Yes, sir. I can't get Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, man, we can hear you. <laughs> Okay, my baby. It's one out of a thousand. Baby. Ninety-seven would be fake. That shit don't that even make sense. What happened? Hey, your car cam was good, bro. My baby, can you hear me? If, if yes. my baby sleep, I'm just. Uh-uh, but no. my baby, I sent you. Okay. You see how he knocked at your door again? And watch the door that keep at your door, okay? Huh? You don't have to ask anymore. Because he's going to keep answering and answering and answering and answering. Okay, my baby? Hmm. We don't need any harm. Because... All he wants you to do is just reach out to him. No lie. And when you obey him, baby, watch that new car we finna get in. Yes. Them new shoes that we finna get in, girl. Watch that money be overabundant. Like, girl, you ain't gonna even have to worry. Because it's just gonna be coming from everywhere. You know, like he got something in store for you, babe. Like he really do. Mm. All you got to do is be obedient to him, sis. That's mm. all. And I just want you to know that there's love out here. And watch this embrace. You see all these people still in your life? They right here for you, baby. You got a lot of good people. For real, you got people, sis. Yeah. And one of them, okay? No lie. 
and when you can't and when you can't see something let me show you how good some good people can be in the world i'm gonna even inbox you my number and my baby and when you feel like you're at your lowest watch i got lift us because we can lift each other no line no shade okay so I'm just asking for God right now. I don't need you to respond to me or anything. I'm just going to do a prayer. But everybody, not just you, my love, but everybody in this life, not just in this life, but in the kingdom. Because the one thing we forget, we only do our surroundings. But if we can look at the people that's over there in Africa and stuff and realize that we are so much greater that we have to be that? submissive. That we have to be so submissive and be so humble because they're living the way I'm living. I cry every day. <laughs> really, every day. These babies over there, they don't have a bed to sleep in. They don't have a stove to cook on. But the, the one beautiful thing about them, they make the best of their culture. We should do that same thing. Make the best of our culture. And I ain't gonna say that they don't have relationship issues. They do. But we have only not only relationship issues, we have issues with our family, friends, everybody. And the one thing God wants us to do is come together as a whole as the united, as the kingdom. Because believe it or not, when it's all over, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess. It's going to happen. So sometimes when we throw dirt on someone else, that's the dirt that we throw on ourselves. I say that to you, my baby, because I stay with this guy. Where I'm traditional. When you raised in here and been raised by a mother and a father, I was traditional. So I stayed with the dude, even though I was abused and all that other shit too. But the one thing this brother came out the room and said to me, you think that your ass, I, you know, you'll die before me. I looked up at him, never knew. It was the first time I started getting into the Bible. And I said to him, the dirt that you don't need to on yourself. Now, even the same token that I said that, believe it or not, he was a good man. He was just sick in his illness. And when you get sick, baby, you say and you hurt and do other things because guess what? He's sick. And he couldn't do nothing but be mean because he was already coming to his ending. All I'm saying is we have a long life ahead of us. Let's be happy in it. Let's love one another instead of hating on one another. Let's, instead of putting people down, let's pick them up in, in, in prayer. Even when we don't want to. Let that be the most prayer we pray for. Because believe it or not, let me take it back up something to you. Money is the rule of all evil, too. Maybe I had got to hold the son and I end up letting my niece get some. You know, I'm in South Carolina, but I'm originally from Michigan. So I go home. But this one particular time, my son with his condition, he pushed me down, baby. And it messed up my Achilles. So now I limp until I have the surgery. But God knew that he didn't want me to go to Michigan because I'm forever getting up in mind and leaving, going home, baby. Because South Carolina ain't home. But Michigan is. Mm -hmm. All my family is there. But the one thing God wanted me to do was sit still, though. So in the course of that, because I got a great niece, and that baby went to college. So that baby got an AD, uh, whatever you call that. But she's in college now. So you can't tell me what God won't do, whatever circumstance and condition that we go through. That baby, she's in college. So now I got to pray for her because so much stuff is happening in college now. And if the one thing we can't do, we have to pray and let God handle it. And that's all I'm saying to all of us. 
Whatever we want, we pray for it. Whatever we so desire, we pray for it. And we pray for our nation as a whole. I don't know, but I love you like you were my own. And that's all God is asking, is to love one another. And he'll fight our battles. And that's the one thing, my little baby, I want you to rest. Because you got a lot of paperwork and stuff that you got to get. And you don't need a lot of people keep doing this negativity in your head. Because it make us think on a different level. And God just wants you to think on that positive level. You said in your, getting yourself together, getting your bonnet, peace, peace. Then peace be still in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And that's for all of us.